It all comes down to this. The final event, the biggest buy-in, and the biggest first place prize of the series. And for Kerry Katz, Dan Colpoise, and Sean Winter, it's also the chance to take the overall title of 2023 Poker Go Cup champion away from Anthony Hu. The waiting is over. Let's get down to business. Welcome back to Las Vegas, the Pokego studio to be exact for the epic conclusion of the 2023 Poker Go Cup. This is event number eight, a $50,000 buy-in final table that you'll be able to watch in full on YouTube for free. Please smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. My name is Remko Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me will be carrying you through what's going to be an amazing final table Three players at this final table, like Jeff mentioned, still have a chance to win the Poker Go Cup and receive that 50k cash bonus. Here's the scenarios. If Katz wins event number eight or finishes runner-up to Haxton, he wins the cup. Colpoise and Winter, they both have to win the event to win the cup. And then, lastly, very importantly, if those scenarios don't play out, Anthony Hu will be our overall champion. There's a look at our contenders. Dan Colpoise, you guys will remember him from the karaoke antics from yesterday's final table. And here's a look at our favorite at this final table. The man, the myth, the legend, Isaac Haxton, has been doing it for what feels like forever. And he is now back at a big final table inside the PokerGo studio. Haxton is our chip leader, but we have so much play left at this final table. Only four players remain, but I promise you, this is going to be a fantastic final table. 130k guaranteed for the final four players, almost $600,000 up top for the champion. And then the question, of course, has to be answered. Who will take home that Silver Poker Go Cup? Let's dive right into the action. Hand number one, shuffle up and deal. Let's have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. What's the weather? That's off the chip where you're at? Okay. We're That's going to be here for saying. free the entire time. We're live. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Let us know who you think will take this down. And also, who do you think will take down the Boca Go Cup? Of course, many scenarios still possible. But all eyes will be on this man, Isaac Haxton. He is our chip leader. He doesn't have any points from prior events. He cannot win the 50K cash bonus. So he'll be doing lots of work for the other players as he tries to eliminate them. And of course, Anthony Hu mm. is going to be the biggest Haxton fan coming into this final table. Donnie, what's we, up? We got we got a good little battle lined up here. Quite a few scenarios still in play. How do you feel about it? I feel really good. You always want to sweat till the end, you know. Even us onlookers, uh, just checking it out. Uh, you know, being fans on the rail a bit. Uh, you know, in addition to the commentating that we're doing. Um, but it's good to have the sweats. Plenty of sweats. Like playing spoiler. Yeah, I mean, Ike, <laughs> Ike definitely has this thing under control. Um, what can you tell us about yesterday's proceedings as we watch the first hand develop here between Katz and Haxton, who both have top pair? Yeah, I mean, yesterday was, at first it was kind of slow going, but, you know, started with two tables underway. The field got up to 26 entries, which is a really good number for a 50K. And as things got down to, I'd say... 15, 14 players, those in the field that were eligible for the leaderboard race started to really become aware of it. You know, we uh, we printed out some sheets. We kind of passed it around so everyone could kind of take a look. At the time, Anthony Hu was still in. He was very much aware of what was going on. And basically, like, if he cashed, he would have locked it up or, you know, pretty much locked it up. Um, and now he's just got to kind of sit on the sidelines and sweat it. Um, but, yeah, I think he's in a, he's in a pretty – decent position not the best position of course because three players can win it here um, but fortunately for mr who isaac haxton the guy who can't win it has the chip <laughs> lead. yeah and that's the only scenario that he really is hoping for for haxton to win it well i think who would be rooting for ike to take out carry cats first <laughs> because carry cats can win two ways he's the only player that can win two ways um, Winter, Cats, and Cold Boys can all win by winning the tournament, as you mentioned earlier, and then Cats can also come in second, but he can only come in second to Haxton. So if I'm Anthony Hu, I'm rooting for Isaac Haxton to take out Kerry Cats, then I just got to hope that Isaac Haxton goes on to win it. On that note, Cats here with the check mark. We've arrived on the river. Check, check. Cats happy to show his pair of eights. 
and rakes in the first pot here off the deck and immediately takes the chip lead. Well, interesting, interesting development it's here. Not right what off Anthony Hu wanted to see. <laughs> exactly. I wonder, if, I wonder if he's watching. Mm. I wonder if he's watching from home. Big shout out to everyone in the chat. Love to see it. Here's a look Can at our series summary. Anthony Hu, deserving champion if he pulls it off. But the same can be said, that. Donnie, for the other players. Carry Cats, five caches. Anthony Hu, three final tables, so one win. And then players that are already out of the running. Mateo Sendegran with three caches. They, of course, no longer in this event. Uh, but it's been a good series, and it's been amazing to have done so many of these streams for free for you guys on YouTube. Um, let me look at the chat here for a second. Sunny in Washington State. We got Israel in the house. stronger than last time. It's cold in the UK. Dallas, sunny SoCal. We've got Darla back in the chat. We have tons of our regulars. Love to see it. Let's see. we got Liverpool in the house. Two real hands here right away. Cats raising it up with 8-7 suited. Haxton in the small blind. Makes the call with ace, jack of spades. I'm pretty sure Dan Colpoy has gained a few fans, Donnie, after yesterday's stream where he was... You know, he was he was playing second fiddle to Negranu from an entertainment Sunday perspective, best. but he was <laughs> definitely showing himself to a big crowd. Yeah, having a lot of fun. We'll Dan Coldboys never fun. holds anything back. I don't think Ike's gone down. It was a late oh, entrant sure. last night. Check, sorry. That's right. He mentally checked, but he's got to <laughs> physically do it. <laughs> Cats here with top pair. Haxton with two overcards and the flush draw. Yeah. All right. Coldboys with plenty of outs as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice card for Haxton. We got Gainesville, Florida in the house. Poland, New Hampshire, Sunny in Miami. Vancouver's on fire, according to Jason Parker. Big rain in Serbia. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's going to be an amazing show. Smash that like button, subscribe to CJD the channel. CJD said we've become his favorite commentators. Hell yeah. Let's go. That's amazing. You know, I brought you a present today. A present? Yeah. Is it snacks? <laughs> no, because <laughs> we have that bet. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> a present. I, I did bring you a present. Kay. Are we, are we going to see it on the stream? Uh, we won't see it on the stream, but we're going to... Open it? There will. Yes. Okay, good. There, there will be an enactment. We'll do it a little <laughs> later. <laughs> Haxton bets the turn here with top hair, top kicker, and the nut flush draw. Carry Katz drawn very slim. Stacks, of course, very deep. Just so you guys know, Katz... Started this hand with 132 mm. big blinds. Haxton, right, 108. Colpoys, wow. 69. Last, Winter, 37. No. Very disciplined fold here, Donnie, by nope. Kerry Katz. Very disciplined. Lame. I made a big fold. I just didn't want to have to call Ike's River Bluff. He missed. <laughs> gonna be he a didn't miss. I think, well, he I think he had it. I don't think he had a draw. Kind of tough to find the draw. Here's a look at our chip denominations. The blues are 5K, yeah, the purples are 25K. We're going to see some yellow 100Ks enter the tournament later on. Yeah, it's a big bet, man. We're playing 10K, 15K. One hour levels today, so this will not be <laughs> a quick turbo. Sean open. Nice little bookend to the series for Sean Winter. You know, yeah. it doesn't really matter where he finishes. Eight, Obviously, he would like eight, to win and win the cup. Eight, but eight, one event number one, final four of the 50K, you know. Well, what did you have? I got King 10. You had nothing? There you see a little bio board, courtesy of GPI slash the Hendon Mob. What? Sean Winter Since Poker Pro from there? Jacksonville won the 2022 exists. Poker Masters Seriously. and 2022 USPO. If he wins the Poker Go Cup, does that make him a Triple Crown winner? Donnie, you set the rules and I'll abide by them. I set the rules. Okay. I will say yes. He will have achieved a career PGT like Triple Crown. That's how I'm going to classify it. We'll He's see if he can do it. Zachary Erickson saying, who won yesterday? I wasn't able to watch till the end. Well, just for everyone tuning in, you have the whole stream available to you on YouTube. You can rewatch the entire thing just to uh, get you up to speed here. We had Negrano going deep in that event. Only one good run out of way from basically being heads up. Didn't go his way. He busted in third. And then we got Punat Punzri heads up against Dan Kolpoise. And Punzri came out on top. 
He then entered, entered the 50k and busted almost immediately. Ace-9-9 nine nine here. On the flop between Haxton and Colpoise. Uh, 30s? Okay. 25s. What's up? 25. Oh. It's 1 5 on the bottom. Okay. 1 250 plus 250. Yeah? That's right. It's 1 5 plus. You got it, yeah. It's 1 9. 1 9 20. Yes, sir. Interesting uh, choice of attire there for Dan Colpoise, <laughs> blocking out those bright what do you studio think the lights. Odds are that Ike versus Fields for Anthony Q does not get the cup. That's what I want. Why do you want that? Yeah. He tilted. No, that'd be horrible because then I'd have to finish third or fourth to make that happen. Why well, you couldn't finish in second? I can win if I finish second and Ike wins. I think I eke out like a 6.1. Oh, you could win? I thought we said if you got second, you were four points short. He was wrong. You are four short. No, I, if I get second, I'm six, a, I'm six ahead. No. What, there was a little tomfoolery overnight? What's going on here? There's no tomfoolery. They just were, they just, he just miscalculated. Can I even win? Yes. Yeah, of course. All right, that's good then. <laughs> if you win, you win. You beat every, if, if you win, you have to win though. Same with Sean. Carry is correct. Six Mike's points. the only one who can't win, but he can win it for. Uh, you don't win if you get second. He yeah. can play spoiler. I don't think so. Yeah, it's by six points. They, if you, if you, if you is or who is wrong. Like you like playing spoiler. Just multiply 364 times the point oh oh six and add it to my points. <clears throat> Yeah, just do that. Yeah, just do that. Just do that in your head, everyone. I'm going to do it on the calculator just to be sure. Haxton here with Kings in the big blinds. Raising it up. Pretty uh, sizable raise here versus Winter in the small blind, who's going to make the call. We're going to see a flop here. Winter is our short stack. Who are you guys rooting for to take it down today? We haven't seen Haxton on the stream in a very long time. Always plays a very entertaining style. Of course, very... Sharp player. Nine, seven, three, rainbow rolls off the deck. Nothing there for winter. Let's see if Haxton continues. By the way, we're doing this whole stream for free, so all we ask for is smash the like button so the rest of the world can also discover this stream. And of course, subscribe to our channel so you can always be in the know when we have some fun stuff going on. Haxton, meanwhile, continues for 90k after winter checked. I'm seeing lots of fans of Colpoys and Cats so far. I don't want to do it. Damn. <coughs> Flop or free flop? Flop. Almost wanted to jam, but folded. Didn't even call. I didn't have anything. <laughs> you like playing the spoiler role, like? <coughs> no. No. Right. He didn't answer, so that means no. <laughs> and just, I just likes playing, and he wants to win. That's fair. That's right. Mike wants. That is certainly Mike just fair. Just wants the 598,000. That is the main thing I'm here for. That <laughs> is certainly fair. I would hope so. Wow. <laughs> Very businesslike from Isaac Haxton. <laughs> what else do we really expect, I want though? 130 or more. I like that. Mike coming in with the five dollar donation. Oh, the Mike. coffee donation. We haven't had a coffee donation in a while. Thanks, Mike. He said, "Smash that like button." Appreciate it. Is are you related to Mike, Donnie? <laughs> no. 
Did you? Did I you mean, maybe. I don't know. Did you fund this this five dollar donation? She doesn't have a last name there. I do have a brother named Michael, so it could Same. be him. And and your dad is the real David Peters. That's right. If my brother ever tuned in to one of our live streams, <laughs> I, I would drop dead. <laughs> Axton makes a 60k from the small line. Cold boys in the big line with an ace. He decides to call. It always comes sevens, and there it is. King seven seven. Haxton with top hair. On these kinds of flops, Donnie, a little harder for Cold boys to just lay lay it down right away, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know these guys can get creative with a lot of different holdings. Ace height does have some showdown value. I mean, it, certainly fine for him to fold it as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cold boys back-to-back -back final tables. You are correct, Scott. Wow, Joshua says, just started a five-hour drive, wasn't happy about it, but now I can listen to this the entire ride. How bad can it be? Wow, Joshua, where are you going? And by the way, eyes on the road, buddy. <laughs> Hope you're still in a parking lot somewhere. We'll try to provide some entertainment. As predicted, Cole Poise calls <coughs> the continuation bet from Haxton. Four of clubs not changing a whole lot, does it? No. Definitely not. 120. Haxton sizing up a little bit here. After going really small on the flop. Trying to make it more difficult for Cole Boys to continue, but it looks like he's going to stick around. Scott Hayward pointing out on in the chat that Cole Boys is also in the same exact seat as yesterday. That's right. Pretty funny. He reserved it for today. Yep. How much did the uh, Chimera Golf Club pay him to wear that hat is what I'm wondering. That's a good question. Where, Where is that? Do you know where that is? I have no oh. idea. Look it up. D. Bat. Anderson. What? A little that I know. <laughs> do I do I live do I live right by it? And I just didn't never knew about it. Haxton likely to fire again here. Oh, Lake Las Vegas. Yeah, this is a, this is out. There. This I is Hender Tucky. I ride I ride by there all the time. This is Hender Tucky. Yeah, it's nice there. Kind of. It's nice there. It's the new development. We can still call it Ender Tucky. Haxon bets 265. Cole Poise lays it down. Haxon chipping up. The rich get I'm richer. Sure Haxon. rid of those one case. So you can't bet like 61, 56, 67. Is 69. that what Ike does? Last night, he, 57. He likes to slow the game down. 51. 48.7. <laughs> oh, sorry. Isaac Haxton just he said it worked. Just not engaging. Popcorn. None of them was none of them was like an exact percentage either. They, you but were betting like thir math. thirty. <laughs> yeah, <I> just <laughs> you, were, you, be you would math? think if you're like sick at math, that's what you should be doing. Just these wild little numbers, so like you you kept betting like thirty four, or thirty one and a half, like <laughs> percent. No, it's not very good in arithmetic. Like I do. You gotta be very careful. You're really you're wanting to do 34. You're like, you're like, I want Jones in for us. No, yeah, I, I like to say we full base high. I hate that. Can't get the number straight. All right, I'm gonna accommodate. Let you see a plot. Beautiful. All right, queen high battle it's here. Sex, it's been a Mike with another really five do dollar donation. My mental health that I just don't burn a time bank to get exactly 33 percent pot. I just say a number. Yeah, you used to. I know. It's bad. I always joke around that I use like what an icon I make when I'm 45. Damn it. I can't win this one. That was more my range than yours. No, that's probably your range too. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Pretty reasonable hand. I was calling most bet sizes. I really want someone at the table to ask Bad Cole ball. Boys whether he went for karaoke mm -hmm. last night. Eight of oh. clubs is pretty good. You bet a lot of chips. Well, I don't think so because he was in this thing. Right, but the night, the night was still young when they end, when they That's when true. they finished. That's true. Cold Boys did not win yesterday's event midnight. Took second place. Kunat Puntry was the winner. Daniel Legrani finishing third. Fold. Nice. Vogel the field was twenty six right. players. Third of a blind. I'm probably gonna have to call anything. Yeah. Except that. <laughs> I my button on the last one too, Carrie. Jim? Kings. 
Queen Jack. Suited? No, both black though. Oh. You were ahead. Just tuning into the chat. Please know that we are streaming for free the entire final table today, however long it takes. Are we doing a break in 28 minutes? No, but you probably, Hour and you probably burn away for a minute. I'm going to need to. Yeah, take a two-minute break. What I was going to say is that we're streaming live for free the entire day until we get a winner in this 50K No Limit Hold'em event. Please hit the, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's all we ask for. Oh, I was trying to kill your hand. <laughs> you did that to me one time, remember? I do, yeah. That, that was very poor behavior. I, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure it was an accident, unlike Soberall. It was no. not. It was not. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was PLO, too. He took the, 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 I was a big blind. The low jack folds, high jack folds, cutoff folds, button folds. He takes all 16 cards <laughs> and just... <laughs> I didn't take all 16 cards. It was only my hand. <laughs> I don't think so. Really? It was all 16? No, 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 no. Are you drunk? No. And I'm like, I know exactly which four are my cards. And Sam goes, no, you don't. And he takes all the cards and scrambles them. <laughs> and then the, the small blind was awarded the pot. That sounds, without... that sounds like an expensive game with you, Ike, and Sam. What were we all playing? PLO. No, what? Oh, is that a Size. 15K or 25K or something? Oh, it was a tournament. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. 60. 60. I'm glad Sean Winter is here. Too. I, I, still got, I, I still got heads up with him. That would have been harsh. I, I got heads up with you still, I think. That sounds right, yeah. I think you beat me, too. Uh, felt like I deserved it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever won a PLO Live tournament. players here and Haxton fix it up with a small bet. Donnie, we're going to see a lot of this, right? Like a lot of raise and take, maybe some three bet folding, maybe one or two stabs. That. that really wasn't. Stacks are so deep, it's very different from what we've seen in the past few days. Before, before we get to that, a little quick reminder here that High Stakes Poker is coming back in just four days. Season 10, Eric Person, Esfandiari, Daniel Negrano, Jennifer Tilly, JRB, we have Bobby Baldwin in the mix this year. Sign up right now to PokerGo.com. Use promo code WATCHHSP10 to save $20 on your annual subscription. You've been throwing your cards at It's going to be pretty epic. I can promise you that. It it's going to be and wild. I, That's probably I took wild. it a little too. But as you were saying, yeah, lots point. of small pots. These guys are super deep. Winter's the shortest stack, but he's still 34 big blinds deep. I mean, there's a oh, lot of playability like around the table. to a gunfight. I can't believe I didn't get a penalty. Cold boys here. I must have Two burgers. The burgers. The burgers making an early appearance. We already saw the kings once. Now we got the aces. Finally some burgers. Haven't had a yeah, burger in seven. far too long, I just realized. Open from Haxton. Three bet from Cold boys. Cold boy started his hand 49 big blinds deep. Paxton might want to peel. Pre flop in position. Oh, the hat, the hat comes hat off. Is coming That's a tell. Off. That's a tell. Ladies and gentlemen, put it on. Re record it. That is for sure a tell. There's the call. I wonder if the hat just got too hot. Oh. Well, listen, if we lo if he loses this hand with aces, we know <laughs> why. Sure. I don't think he's going to lose it. Ace five three, all hearts, top set wow. for Mr. Cole Poise. He's got the wetsuit pulled up over his head now. <laughs> <laughs> Scuba diver, Cole Poise. I mean, Donnie, how do you, 
how do you begin <laughs> to try to extract value here in this situation while also at the same time not running into a spot where you might get bluffed when that fourth heart comes off? I think that's a risk Cole Poise is willing to take. Also not the worst thing to keep the pot on the smaller side. You know, if, if Ike does have a heart and a decent one at that, you know, he'd likely peel a bet on the flop anyway, so just keep things on the smaller side and start with the turn if you get a good one, and he did. Axton got nothing there. Yep. Not even That's a draw, so nice. this one goes to Cole Poise. I mean, nice. Good turn? Yeah. Not a very nice hand, but. Nice board. Nice board. Uh, well, it was a nice hand. Yeah, it was a really nice hand. Sean Winter's usually on point, too. He's, he's off there. He's, he's, the, he's the number one hand reader. Could have. I think it's a very skeptical mind. Is he? Yeah. Ooh, that's fair. Throw it out a little further, just to, so she doesn't have to. Oh yeah, yeah. The table's enormous. It's hard for her to reach. Yeah, thanks. Could have just made a smaller table. Carry Cass playing referee. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Sean Winter with a real hand. Donnie, how how often are we considering uh, three betting here with a hand like king queen suited when we're playing four handed? I mean, this is a really strong hand. It is a very strong hand. I mean. You can do a lot of things with it. Winter's probably pretty considerate of the payout implications right now. All in. Oh, wow. That's a huge shove, 34 big blinds. I wanted a three bet call, but. Yeah, but you fold out hands like okay. Ike has, you know, the right. ace-3s. Get them Four. out of there. Just get it over with right here. Huh? I mean, there are going to be times you're snapped off, but having a king-queen, you do block a lot of the premiums as well. Here's a look at the 2023 PokeGo Cup event winner, Sean Winter, like Donnie said. Nice little bookend here, winning event number one. Could also be victorious in event number eight. But of course, lots of work to be done. He is still our short stack. Right, here's a list of our winners. Anthony Hu, event number five winner, is our current leader in the overall PokeGo Cup standings. And as we've mentioned before, Lots of scenarios still possible. If Cole Poise, Katz, or Winter win this final event, they will become the overall cup champion. If Haxton wins, then Katz can still win the cup if he finishes second. Otherwise, Anthony Hu will take down the 50K cash bonus as well as that massive silver cup. Anthony Hu definitely doesn't want to see Isaac Haxton bust first. Right. <laughs> that's, that's basically worst case scenario. It's just over then right he'll away. just turn it off. Yeah, turn, yeah just, <laughs> just go home. <laughs> you know when you, you've you had a rough session online on Sunday? You just like sla slam your one. laptop closed. I hate folding to a min race, but it was a pretty bad hit. Gary Katz making his fifth and a bad cash read, of the series. I did for a second. Five out of eight events. It's pretty damn That's good. I mean, it's super call. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> this last option, I guess. Christopher asked when Negroni went out. He went out like 14th, 12th, something like that. Yeah, what was the vibe in the, in the room last night, Donnie? Because, you know, we've had, of course, the drama-filled evening of Helmut antics. Was it a little quieter last night? Uh, I think it was it was fun. This you know, the players were obviously playing a 50K okay. buy-in, so there was a serious nature, but they were also having a lot of fun with 30, things overall. 30. Trying to figure out where the points were, kind of sweating <laughs> you know, with one another. Negroni had an interesting ballpark. sweat because finishing in third place in yesterday's 25K, he basically needed 21 players in the 50K, exactly 21 players, right. or 25 or more. Okay. Because of the way the payouts would have shaken out. So, like, it got to 19, so he's, like, thinking, you know, <laughs> and then it gets to 21, but then it gets to 22. So, like, the wow. way the points break out because the, the payout shifted, yep. he needed to get back up. And he was, you know, he's talking about, I got some people on call. Maybe I'll put them in. You know, oh, that's wow. <laughs> stuff like that. That's so, awesome. So it was fun. I love stuff like that. 
he looked over at Tim Duckworth and I and said, "You guys, you guys are on, you guys are on deck." <laughs> and, you know, just joking around, but yeah, it was good, good fun. That's amazing. King Queen. That's not good, buddy. <laughs> That's the real end right there. It certainly is. Real end. I got you back. There it is. That's my. Now we're that's even? me. Get yes. I barely owed you. I just owed you a little bit. It's a little flesh wound. We're even now. Darren One says, I don't, I don't see anyone wearing shades. Think of the past. <laughs> Pretty sure Sean Winter's wearing some great shades right here. Oh, yeah. 25 times it's 25. It's a weird amount, but it they're makes 25. sense. Yeah, they're. Twenty-five times twenty-five. Twenty-five times garbage. twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Yesterday we discussed the race for hundred million. Griffin Goat referencing it. Negrano, of course, now in that race. He's eclipsed the fifty million mark yesterday with his cash. One eighty. At the Pokeball Cup. Oh, wow, Kings. Wow. What's the best nickname for Kings, chat? Let me know. I mean, I Cowboys like is like the first more. one that I always think of. Yeah. It, but work. there must be something better. <laughs> Donnie, what is it? It's Cowboys. Is it Cowboys? Yeah, I mean, that's the best one. Is there anything better than Cowboys out there? King Kong? <laughs> King Kong, I mean, sure. I'm sure we'll get some, uh, Too much coffee this some interesting Too much comments. Too much Boys last night finished second. Get some of that day one brand CBD water. I might need to take the edge off. No edge. Can someone please ask Dan Boys about karaoke? Not the flavor. I don't like that one either. Oh, wow. The this and the grapefruit flavor. I'm a big fan. Uh, by the way, drinkday1.com. Go check it out. Our sponsor here of the broadcast. I mean, I should be unbiased, you know, about all this stuff, but I absolutely love these drinks. They're fantastic. I saw a whole bunch here in the fridge, and I'm going to take a few home. I, ho I hope no one heard that in the studio, but tonight... There, there is a whole bunch in the fridge. There is, yes. And I brought my backpack, so That's we're going to lo load that baby That's up. Good. That's good. Uh, Carl says, hey guys, where on the PokeGo site do we redeem promo codes for annual subscriptions? Um, you can go to either get.pokergo.com or just to pokergo.com. And when you go through the sign-up process, you're going to get to the page where you, know, you enter your information, your name, your email address. Um, there's a little button where you can toggle promo code on and off. I believe when you click it on, it turns green. A little box pops up. You punch it in there. And then that's how you can, I think you have to hit activate or something like that. And then it'll calculate the price for you and bang, you're in. All right, I have a ton of submissions for what Pocket Kings should be called. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go through this. Throw we're going to go through one by one. Yeah, one I'll by one. one. We're going to be here, 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 here for eight hours. <laughs> we're going to analyze this. <laughs> you know, whenever I say analyze this, you know what I think of? Poker, poker reference. Didn't model this one. Early WSP years. Analyze this. Remember that? He had no, no? idea. <laughs> Marcel Lusk, 04 main yeah. event. There's a, psych there's a psychiatrist or a oh, psychologist yeah. at his table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he goes around the table asking what people do for a living, and yep. then the one guy says, I'm a psychiatrist. And then <laughs> Luce looks at him, and he goes, analyze this, <laughs> pointing at his cards. Shout out to Marcel Luce. Uh, we should put a Marcel Luce compilation. I'll check. Back on YouTube. I'm checking makes sense. All right. Clubs here coming in for Isaac Haxton. Cast with a pair of jacks. Cats, of course, known for a conservative style that does very well against these players. But if spots like this keep happening, you're going to end up losing chips because it is very tough when you play forehanded to get away from top pair. Cats, or sorry, Haxton, however, decides to check again. 10-8. Yeah. I'll do a little, a little small bet for you. A little pot. That's a big bet. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Big bet from Katz indeed. Haxton here with the oh, King High Flush. Pot. Donnie, when a situation like this happens where I'm not sure. the pot is fairly small on the turn, you're faced with a pot bet and you have a really strong hand. Can yeah, you raise? a long way to go for a big pot. Or is that, yeah, is that so. a tough spot because 
it might scare away your opponent because it looks so strong. I mean, it does look very strong. And here comes Paxton looking strong. How much? <laughs> Cats and Haxton tied in chips. Only a few big blinds apart. I just want wow. to guess on the next bet. Take it. Okay, Donnie, explain this to me. Is it easy to get Cats off his hands, or is he taking the right approach by not seeing turn and river, or not seeing the Take river here check. in this spot? A little bit of both. One nine. I think his conservative style allows player to allows opponents to play pretty aggressive against him, or want to play pretty aggressive against him. But I mean, Cats recognizes situations very well, even in that spot. You know, he has a decent hand of his own. He can obviously be beat by some other holdings. And then recognizing that he's likely going to face a pretty big bet on the river and something that he doesn't want to get himself into. So cut his losses now here on the turn and move on. All right, time to dive into these pocket kings. So, <laughs> SOH says, the best name for kings is king. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I think you're right. Sorry. Kim Kardashian's, no, you're disqualified. <laughs> king Kong, I like that. Not in change. Calvin Klein, no, you're fired. Cowboys, yeah, that's top of the list. Krispy Kreme says Luke. I don't know where you got that from. I don't. Sorry. I don't agree with that. The kangaroos. Oh man, I, I can dig that. Chip trick. What else? King Kongs. I think it's a pretty good one. <laughs> Justin Leeson says the butchers of Baghdad. I don't know what that means or what, <laughs> what it's in reference to, but it sounds pretty aggressive. Crispies? <laughs> Special K? Krusty Krabs? <laughs> I like all these submissions. This is pretty funny, actually. S Stretch says, Kush Kush. I, I think I'm going to have to conclude that n nothing is ever going to beat Cowboys. Kamikaze. So that's kind of that's kind of all right. All right, we're back on the river card here. Haxton with a pair of eights. Could it potentially extract some value here from a king high man, Donnie? I mean, could. Unlikely? I think it's a little bit unlikely here. I mean, eh, I don't know how unlikely it is. <coughs> One thirty-five. I mean, now it's just. I don't think it's likely at all. <laughs> just three X pot. Okay, let me just say this: the era of the overbet is my favorite era. <laughs> Give me more overbets. Hey, Cole boys, this is a little roll of his eyes. <laughs> what is this? I think he's more likely to call this bet versus like ten k. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right there. Is there any is there any thought process going through Colpoise's mind where he's taking a bit of extra time here even though he's you know probably leaning towards folding just because in case this scenario comes up again he's going to invite Haxton to overbet again in a situation where he does have it I mean that can always be a case for sure no, but I think in this spot Colpoise is genuinely debate de genuinely debating making a call here I mean overbets tend to be very polarized you know, going for max value on your really premium holdings. In this case, maybe Paxton's just got a three. Pot was so small, he's just trying to get a ton out of it. On the other side, you know, Haxton could have a hand like eight, nine that is totally whiffed and has no showdown value whatsoever. Copa is not happy with it. Burned some time banks there as well. But hey, he does show that, you know, nothing is going to get past him easily. Matt says, Cold Boys looks like a recently fired park ranger. It's pretty funny, actually. Smooth betting there from Haxton. Cold Boys with the eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I've, I've quick, this guy. I've quickly become a Dan Cold Boys fan. There's <laughs> multiple people in the chat asking about how karaoke went. We need an update on that at some point. 
that was some great table talk we had yesterday on the stream. In case you missed that stream, it's available in full. By the way, tons of people watching. Smash that like button. Let, let's <laughs> let's let's bring this game up to 500 likes. Show the world how much fun we're having. Of course, more likes means more people are going to find the stream. Yeah, let's go. We're also we're also going to hit 300. Queens now. Jeez, come on. Oh, wow. All the pairs. You get a pair. You get, you a, get pair. a pair. You get a pair. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to hit 370,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. We only need 500 more today, and with this stream, I feel like we can do it. Let's go. 370. It's pretty cool. David, David Davidson, <laughs> I just said your name. There now like the video, buddy. Cats calling a raise here from Haxton from the big blind. How do you feel about that, Donnie? Playing out of position, not three betting there with queens. Feels to me like getting a little tricky there with these deep stacks. Yeah, I think it is getting a little tricky. But if you know, if Cats wants to play small ball, I mean, let's play some small ball. Oh boy. Top set here for Cats. Haxton still with some outs. The pot's still relatively small. Cats checking again. Haxton now, of course, having a chance to realize some equity with four outs. Actually, three outs to the nuts. <coughs> are you barreling here again because you picked up outs, or are you slowing down here because you have outs? Well, Haxton's in an interesting spot because, you know, you could want to think, okay, I'll just, you know, check behind with my equity. But your equity is very small, and on a board like this, I would think that the queen favors Ike's range more than it favors Carrie's range. So you can just barrel away. Cats once again with the call. Ace on the river. Could of get the Ike in a little bit of trouble here. Of the hard variety, meaning no flush draws completed. If you're in carry situation here, Donnie, do you always check? Or is there also a percentage of the time where you want to lead perhaps small to induce if you feel confident? Or maybe you want to lead big in order to get some value in case Haxton checks behind a hand like, you know, the hand that he has, like an A7. Yeah, I, I don't mind taking a blended approach, doing a little bit of both in different spots. It's going to be very interesting, you know, no matter what uh, Katz does, how Ike reacts. We've already seen him over about once. If he checks, is Ike going to turn his hand to a bluff and just bomb here, try and represent the king? Of course, those are all scenarios going through Carrie's mind here before checking. And he, yeah, he just gives it up. Quick check behind. No. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like, oh, what? Like you have what? The ladies. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. The ladies, <laughs> according to Sean Winter. We've seen aces. We've seen kings twice. We've jacks. seen jacks. The beats never end. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Haxton warming up a little bit. Cremelli says, I like the stream just because I'm ho Oh, wow. By the oh, way, he's here. Anthony Hu in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who's currently in the lead, Isaac Haxton's biggest fan, Anthony Hu, awaiting his fate on the rail inside the PokerGo studio. Probably has that champagne on ice. <laughs> or maybe that's... Maybe, maybe that will be... A bit of a jinx. What I was going to say is, Cromelli says, I like the stream just because I'm hoping that if we get enough likes, you guys and Cold Poise will go out for karaoke night and stream that too. I mean, if Periscope was still a thing, maybe we could do that. You know what they should do? Uno. They should just Uno. give Anthony Hu a seat Uno. at the table with no chips. You should make him the dealer. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Can Anthony Hu deal cards? Can someone figure this out? <laughs> Hi, dude. Who is not guaranteed the win? Winter, Colpoise, and Cats can all win the cup if they win this tournament. And then Carey has an additional pathway. If Isaac Haxton wins the tournament, Carey must finish in second place. So basically, Carey just wants to get heads up with Haxton. That's his goal. Yep. And then he can do whatever he wants. Exactly. Um. Haxton right now 
working for Anthony Hu. Anyway, I can take a minute break? Yeah, you can take a go. On, Sean. I got Let's time. go now? Yeah, yeah, go. Go, Sean, go. Run. Go right now. Be quick. Should we go trip him in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, go out, go out there. <laughs> Tackle <Ronnie>. him. <laughs> we got clubs versus yeah, clubs. Can we find the eight of clubs? Break that. No, <laughs> we can't oh. find ace, four, ten oh. with two clubs. Cole boys here with a pair and a flush draw. Cat's in trouble if another club were to roll off. Cole boys started the hand with 61 big blinds. Flip it out there. Sure. Queen of diamonds on the turn. Very quick check check. Unofficial break means I cannot have my phone back. Yeah. And that's, I thought I overheard it, yeah. King of Spades on River completes the board. Cole boys' 10 is good. Cats, of course, with absolutely nothing. Hi, dude says, awesome. Great commentary, boys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Please stay here with us. Hang out. Let's see if we can hit 370,000 subscribers. We hit 500 likes. Just passed it. Oh, good. That means that we're on our way to 1,000 now. Jordan says, how do you guys take your coffee? It really depends on how I'm feeling, actually. The only thing I'm, I'm very certain about is never sugar. Never. Well, you, had a, you had a debate this morning. They delivered it with a little sugar stick. Yeah, I, I, I ate the sugar <laughs> stick, and then I drank my coffee. <laughs> I'm a big fan of sugar, but it's not in my coffee. I uh, usually drink it black. Black coffee, Americanos, yeah. that's, that sort of thing. And uh, in the summer, iced. In the winter, hot. I went to Starbucks yesterday. I ordered a coffee. I ordered just like a normal whatever blend. Yeah. And they didn't have it for some reason. They didn't have coffee at Starbucks? We'll continue the story <laughs> in a second. <laughs> <laughs> More coffee talk after this. Here's a look at the Hair Club final table chip counts. Kerry Katz in the lead with 1.9 million. Haxton, 1.6. Dan Coldboys, a million. And Sean Winter at the bottom of the counts with 550k. Lots of play left at this final table. A lot of days in a row it's out like this, it will fuck up. Sean Winter back here after a short bathroom break. Action continues. Blinds are up, 10k, 20k with a 20k big blind Annie. So I ordered the veranda blind. Okay. Which I like That's to good. get. Veranda's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I dig it. I pull up to the drive through when I was, you know, mobile order and was going to pull up and drive here. They didn't she's like we don't have that anymore. Would you like you know, something else. I'm like, yeah, just whatever roast you got, fine. She's like, would you like it as a pour over? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. She's like, okay, can you just pull around? So I pull around. What? Okay. She's like, we'll do the we'll do the pour over for the same price, you know, no big deal. I'm like, yeah, fine. So she's like, can you just pull around because there's people behind me. I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I pull around. So she, you do a lap. You do. A, she said that she was gonna bring it out to me. I'm like, I'll just get out and go inside. I go inside. She gives me the pour over. She also gives me a gift card. What? For my next coffee. I mean, I feel like I ran so hot. Oh my god. Like they didn't have my coffee and it's just a, like a plain black coffee. Like obviously I like this one kind, but I mean, I feel like I ran pretty hot. I got a pour over and then on top of it I got a free next coffee. So wait, the, was it the ver veranda? Veranda, yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to order veranda <laughs> everywhere I go now just so I can get a gift card. There we go. We hacked it. We hacked the system. Starbucks, I hope you're not listening. Uh, all right. Ace Jack of Spades here versus Sevens. It always comes seven, so I wouldn't be too I wouldn't be too disappointed if I was cold poise. That seven is still in there. Anthony D is saying, what's a pour over? It's like a fancy drip drip coffee. Yeah, but like for like a single cup. A single cup, yeah. yeah. One fifteen. Better balanced. One fifteen. I mean, pour over is a very good coffee. I didn't know that they did it at Starbucks. I had no like, idea. I had no idea. I mean, I know that you go to like a nice coffee shop. You know, they usually have it. Yes. Right. Colpoise makes the call. This pot could get out of hand if Colpoise is a non-believer. Nine of diamonds on the turn. Hacks the 95% to win this hand. Yeah, I'm a big fan recently, Donnie. <laughs> what is, what is dirty for you? Dirty chai lattes. You feeling alive? Have you ever had one? Or still not? Medium. Oh, okay. there he is, Anthony. We'll Hume. try to make it a little better for you. Sean Winter eating it's obviously chocolate. Obviously, good sweaties here. Like a whole chocolate bar, <laughs> <laughs> king size. What is that? That's amazing. I want what he what, he, what he's having. Two seventy-five. Haxton coming with it. I feel like we've seen this before, Haxton. Going bigger on the turn. Real decision here for Cole Boys, Donnie. Cole Boys just he's he doesn't like to fold. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to fold the King Ten. He doesn't want to fold these sevens. You know, this time different than you the know, King Ten. He's actually got a pair in his hand. Is, uh, we both want Ike to do well. 
Again. Nice hand, Ike. <laughs> well played. Oh, yeah. uh, nice hand, dude. Cole boys lays it down it. again, and he's right. All right, bring me those beats. Let's have a look at Isaac Haxon's career highlights. His first six-figure live cash with his hair blowing in the wind and cards <laughs> flying off the table. Second at the PCA to Ryan Doubt. Of course, epic final table there with one of the most memorable bluffs in poker history and his biggest cash recently, December 2018. Super high rollable victory so for Isaac lock. Haxton. I feel like I grew up with Isaac Haxton. Like when Isaac Haxton they can do a second in that event. I plus three fit. Plus three I'll never forget money when he line. did the one time <laughs> to Vitaly Lunkin. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, the 40K. 40K. 2009. <laughs> Has, there, Has there ever been another 40K buy-in tournament? Maybe he no. That's the only one? Yeah, probably. Well, because some of the Triton I, events are kind of weird. Like, they have, like, 75. They have a 30. To win right. No one's ever done 40. You have over 20%, so you're chilling. Way over 20. You've got me as your horse. <laughs> yeah, but Kerry needs top two. Oh. And he's got half the chips in play. That's not true. Well, that's not necessary. I mean... Cats and Axton both have half the chips in play. Cold Boys and Winter have no chips, but they're just here. I will do sure. my best, I promise. Uh, that one was not a oh, the nuts in the river. Yeah. Sean Winter with the chocolate. I'm getting kind of jealous here. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do that. Why not? Just makes my life easier if I, I have something. I, I, okay. I wants the 598 more than anything. I want to know why we couldn't make it an even 600. Yeah. Chip in a few extra bucks. Forty-five. You think he's eating dark chocolate? Yes, yeah, for I sure, so. right? For sure, dark chocolate. Maybe, maybe with some, uh, I don't know, some nuts, some, some some fruits in it. What's your What's your chocolate bar of choice, Donnie? My chocolate bar of choice. Like you're at the store, you're gonna get chocolate. What What are you getting? San Francisco. I mean, I'll usually try and find. I think something like Sean Winter has, like just like dark chocolate or cacao or whatever. Right. You know, like Tony Chocoloni. Hmm. No. That brand is good. I don't believe you. Tim Duckworth told me to get the white raspberry. So, so, Sean, what do you it's like? It's really good. Dark chocolate or your wine? <laughs> they go well together. They do go so well. Have together. you ever done that, like, uh, it's like some Harvard study or something where it's like they'll tell you, like, the type of wine you like based on the chocolate or something? Have you, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Of course, like. MIT. Yeah. Dan Cole I don't really was, like this. But I like the wine. <laughs> but you've eaten half of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost gone. <laughs> I love it. Uh. Darren, Darren Haddon says, Kit this Kat's is amazing. In. Is Kit Kat a chocolate bar? Isn't it just like a candy bar? What's that? Kit Kat. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... I didn't think that that was like the question you were asking me. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm talking like straight oh, chocolate. You're talking like this. Yeah. Like I mean, I, I don't have a brand per se. I would just try and find something that probably looks very similar to what uh, Sean Winter is eating. Maybe like a salted caramel blend? Dark chocolate? <coughs> Supposedly dark chocolate is supposed to be healthier for you. It has more fiber in it, stuff like that. So With the quantities that I eat, nothing is healthy. <laughs> Broccoli might be the only thing left on the planet that I could eat in large quantities. You know what's crazy is like the way that the world is and everything's like, there's a side of everything. Right. Seeing the other day, there's stuff on social media that you, you can't eat too much broccoli. It's bad for you. What? I was like, what the? I was like, literally, you can't. Everything is bad for you. Everything. <laughs> Once they've gotten into broccoli being bad for you, oh it's my God. game over. Broccoli's been canceled, guys. <laughs> Winter here with King Queen of Hearts. I mean, raising while eating a chocolate bar has to be very strong. You're no, I find just under five. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. We're perking up. Twenty five things. All in. All in for Cole Poise. Sean Winter with the little I'm just gonna I think I wanna gamble with you. 
Wow, he says he thinks he wants to gamble with him. I'll give you a gamble. A little does he know how dominated gamble. he is. Yeah. Here we go, there time to gamble. Ladies and gentlemen, our first showdown. My decision back unless all in before the flop. <clears throat> Sean Winter in dire straits here. King, queen of hearts, looking for a king or some hearts, or perhaps a straight oh. to double up, or otherwise we'll be down to three-handed play. All those points up top, you gotta gamble, you know, you gotta play for the win. A lot of overlay. You play the game to win. Right. Sean Winter, looking for some help. What do we think, chat? Who's gonna win this one? Oh, Winter's all in. Uh, maybe a chop somehow? Four, 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 seven? Here's the Wait, flop. Four, four, that doesn't seven. get it done. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Ten, <laughs> nine, eight. Flops a flush. Maybe a chop? Six, seven I mean, of hearts, chop? Okay. How much is the shit? Do, <laughs> deuce of diamonds. I got you back, though. Ten of diamonds. Great, man. <laughs> cool, sorry. boys. Got me back. I'm like a fucking idiot. Winter always wanted to just... Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, twist that needle Maybe a little, little bit little. more. Oh, man. What a flop. Yeah. Nice that is one unhappy man right there. Still 19 big blinds for Dan Coldboy, so not out of it just yet. Plenty to work with. Oh, there you we go. You felt that flop coming? Oh, uh, no. No, he's hoping for a chop. I didn't have a terrible feeling. I, I On the 4447. <laughs> for one more 4 two. Here's a look at our 50K. Stats, 26 entries, four remaining. It's Almost right. $600,000 up top. 64 big blind average, meaning God, that... More money has to go out now? It's going to be this. a long battle. This is nuts. Sean Winter now up to a million chips. Dan Colpoy's down to 400K. Only 20 big blinds for him. Tim Warren says, when is Colpoy's happy? I can tell you, when he's at karaoke. That is his happy place. <laughs> He did say on Twitter he was going to drink a Bud Heavy out of the cup if he wins. Free so. flop. That might make him happy. I mean, I'm here for that. Gluten-free flop, yeah. Did you just say it was a gluten-free <laughs> flop? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, All heart. Oh, uh, I get it now. Man, I might have to have somebody fucking assassinate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Oh my god. Dan Ch Bookman says, is Winter Nine. marking the cards with chocolate? <laughs> First, you'll take me to Dragon Ridge on you for that? I'm, you'll get me back eventually. We're going to play a lot of these. No, I'm done after that. <laughs> no. Can't take any more. Coldplay's looking for some <laughs> golf invites. Worth a round at Dragon Ridge, I think. What's the guest fees? I'll give you a round at Dragon Ridge and I'll spew off money to you. On the golf course? Yes. All right. <laughs> We're even. We're yeah. even. All right. Hit that. Done deal. They've <laughs> made up, guys. Really do. Dragon Ridge sounds expensive. 45. Paxton here with ace-jack offsuit. 45. Coming in for a race to 45K. I mean, you got to love. You got to love Cole Poise at this final table, chatting it up a little bit. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Please smash that you know like what? button. Subscribe to the channel. I don't know what. I hope I'm about to find out. I was gonna do do something, then Carrie said it's so hard to get his chips. So that threw me off. At least it wasn't like you know, on the river or something. Like my fate was sealed on the flop. Like actually drawing dead. <laughs> no, it shouldn't matter. But it Good to see uh, Cole Poise taking yeah, it in no, stride. It's way better. That was a good one for Mr. Who. <laughs> that was a good one for you. No, it was worse. 
No, it's really good for him. What do you mean? Because he wants Sean to stay in the game. I, I don't want him to. I want him oh, to lose chips. Oh, because if he gets second. Second. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> I mean, I feel like still just having three people in is way worse for you than having two people in even then. I want four people in, so, you know, things can shuffle towards Isaac. No, it's definitely not worse. Of course it is. Then all his hopes and dreams are Because right Because then I'm on direct bubble. <laughs> You want to? <laughs> How late was Anthony who up last night running the scenarios through? Seventy <laughs> thirty. Oh, the fifty k? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Really? Thirty five. Thirty five k to me. Whatever seventy thirty is. <laughs> thirty. Yes, yeah, thirty five. I don't even know the math, but I'm one half of us is off. <laughs> Nothing. I'll take thirty five and go right back on home. <laughs> okay. Whatever it is, 73, you want it? I'll gladly pay you money. But, but then you get the cup, right? We're not, we're not chopping the cup, 73. <laughs> no, you got the cup. And the 70? No, no, you can't do that. Okay, sorry. Can't make a deal for the cup. Okay. You can make a deal for the money, you can't make a deal for the win. Gotta be earned. No. Okay. Whoever, whoever has those points gets I, the cup no matter what. You guys can yeah. side deal the points. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can, can, can decide on the 50K bonus, but you can't decide on it. Once yeah. The, cup's the cup is sacred. The, points. the cup is sacred. That's right. The cup is sacred. Mm -hmm. so Tell him, Mr. Cole Poise. I didn't well, think that Mr. Karaoke around. would be that I'm passionate about the cup. Let's okay, see. we, we got to pass for now. I'm ready to talk whenever. <laughs> uh, Anthony Hu in a deal-making mood here at the final table. Uh, this is great. In case you're just tuning gonna, in, Anthony Hu is our current leader now. in the standings. $50,000 cash bonus awaiting the overall champion. Isaac Haxton, the only player at the final table who cannot win the overall standings. The three others can do that with a win. Kerry Katz can also do it with a second place if Isaac Haxton wins. Cole Boyce here in the small blind with the best drawing hand in all of poker. Ace-king offsuit. Nothing for cats there. Isaac, what did you say? Um, it's on this side, like a bend in the middle on this side? Is that what you saw? Like yeah, right, right here, the, there's a oh, crease no, in the shuffle, right? Oh, no, that's not what I saw. That's not what I saw. I don't need, uh, he, he, fig he figured out the issue. It was a math thing. He did it in his head. No, no, I just, I, when I, I, I just assumed you were right. I didn't really look at the math. All right. Let's dive into this tweet here. Kopo says, if I win the cup, I'll absolutely crush a butt heavy right out of the cup on stream. You know who to root for. That's right. Haxton, Katz, Kopo and Winter all still in the mix. 600K up top for the winner. Kopo drinking on stream was just made a little bit more complicated by Sean Winter doubling through him. Flop and a flush. Crushing him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there they go. Cats in a small line here with ace five offsuit. We haven't played the hand together. Okay. Almost. Yeah. I have a feeling that the chat is now rooting for a heads up battle between Sean Winter and Dan Colpoise. That's what I'm feeling right now. I mean at that point Winter's for sure gonna have some wine on the table. Oh yeah. Get the bud heavies ready for Mr. Cole Poise. I would even like a glass of wine. This feels like a good occasion to have a glass of wine. A 50k final table. <laughs> All right, bring back those beats. Here's a look at the walk-in. Cole Poise with a little wave. He's wearing the scuba suit. Terry Katz, sharp haircut, I have to say. Probably wearing that Georgia Bulldog shirt underneath. Here's Mr. Haxton, as always, dressed for action. Oh, wow. Sean Winter getting some Terminator vibes here today. Jason Statham. Yeah, Jason Statham. That's, that's good. Just like him. What's that movie where his heart rate can't drop below <laughs> a, a certain level? Or Crank? Die? Crank? Is that what it's called? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that movie with Constantly Jason Constantly on adrenaline. That'd be... <laughs> 
Huh? Taking, How long is it break? taking some I'm illegal big, substances to nice. stay alive. Sid says, Sean Winter looking like he's trying to get cast to the next Top Gun. He would fit right in. He would fit right in. What the hell did you do here, Donnie? You said the other day you had never had a Dr. Pepper. Oh my god. So I brought you options. Wow! They're cool too! Of course, what do you think I am? This is amazing. I literally went to the store and bought every kind of Dr. Pepper that they had. Oh wow. So you have to try every single one. If you're starting me off Look, on a... Look, here's another one. Oh, my Cherry. God. Cherry. Cherry? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Donnie, if you're responsible right now for me starting a new addiction, I will send all my dentist invoices to your house. Wow. Are these... Oh, this is the regular one? Still. Yeah, that's the regular one. See, the re look, 23 flavors. Wow. The regular one has 66 grams of yeah. sugar. Yeah, what do you expect? That is insane. Well, well, you have to get a second. That's still, yeah. You have so, to get a second. Yeah. I am. That's wow. still not, yeah. That's so everyone's aware, there are five yeah. bottles of Dr. Pepper yeah. on the on the table. We have Dr. Pepper, zero sugar. We got Diet oh. Dr. Pepper. We have zero sugar, cream yeah. soda. Oh, my God. Regular Dr. Pepper, and then there was Dr. Pepper cherry as well. Probably just, uh, the guy looked at me like I was crazy when I bought all of them. Like, just by the... Well, I mean, there's two different things on this one. There's a big white spot in the border. And I mean, I'm not, another crease. I'm not seeing it like so easily. <laughs> David I'm Paul says he's drinking Diet Dr. Pepper, Pepper right now. I don't. I don't really. I can't even see what you're talking about. 209 Savage Squad says Cherry's fire. Are you just stalling or something? So the blinds raise? No, there's there's a big white Let hole in. Oh, on this one. A big <laughs> white <laughs> hole. <laughs> big white. In yeah. the Good thing I brought up the Dr. Pepper because they're not playing any poker right now. My guess is it would just be a second. T.D. Paul Campbell heading up there to figure it out as we look at the chip counts presented by Hair Club. The cards are probably not marked. It's probably just the automatic shuffler. It can scuff them up a little bit. I mean, the cards aren't marked. Like, no player is marking them. It's probably just what's happening. You see it from time to time. As you guys can see, still anyone's game here. Cole Poise with 24 bigs still definitely in the action as I'm about to embark on a Dr. Pepper tasting session of some kind. Let us know at home. What are you drinking? What are you pouring yourself? This might be a long running experiment. I got to take some of these home. There it is. Back to the action. Back to the studio. We are live from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas, a short walk from the Aria Poker Room. In case you're interested, you can just walk right in here, have a yeah. drink at the bar, watch the action from the sidelines, hang out with Anthony Hu, <laughs> who's here watching. As always, you can check out the, the full schedule of events on pgt.com slash schedule. We have an upcoming mixed game event like series. Like Got some PLO coming up. Interesting. And actually, that, that would make sense with the crease as well. That like it was a whole batch that were missing. I don't right have here. anything, so they're they're the two through I'm the looking, nine. That's I'm looking good here. Does that mean I have two over paint, <laughs> or two paint or better, or aces? <laughs> I think that means this deck isn't misprinted. <laughs> I could see that because like the higher. Sounds like we got the card situation too, sorted so out here. Paint will have more trouble sticking. Yeah. And you're getting another walk. Yes, baby, yes. <laughs> another one, isn't that my first one? Oh, no, you no, walked No, I walked your last orbit, too. Yeah. It's very, it's the least you can do, you know. Shout out sure. David Schneider. Dr. John Pepper cream soda. I haven't had Dr. Pepper him. in probably mm -hmm. 10 years, so I couldn't what tell What are you. these weird stacks now, Gary? Like, I think the last 30s. time I had Dr. 30s. Pepper, they didn't even Multiple have the cream final. soda available. That wasn't an option. It's going up. No, it's going down. It was 1.5 on the bottom. Yeah, there's less on top now. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Up over 600. Let's go, let's go. 45. Hey, 45. I would like to get us up over 1,000. Get us in four-figure territory as we push on. 
thank you for joining us. 50k, no limit hold them. Yeah, final table, the up. final just, event. It's just the gloss finish on the wheel. Of the 2023 so the Poker no, no, Go Cup. They just get scratched when they go through there because it's such a high yeah. gloss thing. It's like, it's completely random. Did you see something again? Like, I just had the jack. a little crease. I think yeah, the crease is on the so many of them, I'm, I'm not going to worry I just had about the it. But like, it's just from that thing and like the cards being like not as, not as chemi. Is that a word? You know what I mean? Like the chem cards are very bendable yeah. and they won't crease. These ones will crease a little bit. I don't think it's like a real thing. No, I, I'm, I'm not too worried about the creases yeah. if they're in everything, but th that one that was just like, had that big spot on the back. Right? Yeah, I could, I could I get behind that. Lots of beverages in the chat being reported. We got some red wine drinkers. What is it called? Edge sorting or something? <laughs> Edge sorting, exactly. <laughs> Dan Bookman says cream soda Dr. Pepper has only been out for about a year. It's the new stuff. Yeah. David Schneider said that the cream soda one was the best. And I said the last time I think I had Dr. Pepper, I don't even think that they had the cream soda variety available. There we go. I gotta talk about this. Done with that. A slow learner. Fool's cat, chamomile tea with cream and honey. Well, good night to you. <laughs> that sounds like a recipe for a little nap. Anthony, Mountain, Bo Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I've heard the Mountain Dew. Baja Blast is pretty good. Never had it myself. Never had Mountain Dew either. I'm so glad you didn't bring Mountain Dew. I have Mountain Dew in my bag. That's the next gift. Oh, God. Damn. I think I have three of them? Wow. Oh, look. Oh, I pulled no. it out. I pulled out the Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, wow. Oh, you this is unbelievable. <laughs> zero <laughs> sugar. Look at that, Remco. I know you like you the zero sugar stuff. Fast when there's only four left, huh? This looks like acid. And then regular. We got to get each other regular. How much caffeine is in these things? I have no idea. And you're kind of forced to go and pre. Well, yeah, I mean, you can also force this. I mean, you're not drinking them all. You just have, you yeah. just have a sip. You tell me which one's the best one. Okay, you want to try all of them? Oh, heck yeah. I want to I wanna hear, I wanna hear what, what the deal is. Okay. Well, Maybe we'll get there are eight the bottles of soda <laughs> in front of Remco. <laughs> wow. It'll probably be 510. <laughs> this is probably totally lost on people that didn't tune into yesterday's stream. We had a conversation yeah, about asked soda. Me one time, you want to come play this 1025 game? I said, no, that's okay. Get you on the Vino, you'll be great action. Mountain Dew, I think, is extremely popular with the gamers. The oh, gaming really? crowd. Interesting. I'm not a gamer myself, but, yeah, if I was. Does it say the caffeine on me? Yeah, it's like about a cup of coffee. Huh. It's not even Only that bad. Only 77 grams of sugars. No big deal. That is what scares me. <laughs> That is what absolutely yeah, scares take a sip. Yeah. It's not gonna. Billy said, Donnie, you didn't get Mountain Dew Code Red. They didn't have it, man. I literally got every variety of Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper that this place had. Oh, man. This is great. And while carrying him to the counter, I dropped two of the bottles on the floor. It was, it was a disaster. <laughs> I've, I got a funny story about that. Meanwhile, Haxton with Jack Five of Spades raising it up from the button. With the stacks being so deep, we got a little bit more time for shenanigans. But I just want to reference here: Cold Poise has won 11 hands, Haxton's won 13, Cats won three, and Winters won nine. So clearly, Cats, of course, taking the conservative approach. Haxton trying to make good use of his chip lead. Cold Poise, however, was doing so well until Sean Winter doubled through him with King Queen of Hearts. If you're just tuning in. I just want to let everyone know. Let's do, let's do a little giveaway when we hit 1,000 likes. Just to uh, show, your, show, your, show our appreciation to you guys. <laughs> Give away a free annual subscription to Poker Go once we hit 1,000 likes on the stream. And I'll give away two annual subs if we hit 370,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. 
We're about 500 away right now. I know it's a big goal, but we have a long, oh, a race was a long day ahead of us. Cats defends from the big line and calls 80k on the flop when 7-3-10 rolls off the deck. Cats picks up an open-ended straight draw. No pair for Haxton. Haxton taking a conservative approach, knowing that Katz does not play as many hands as the other opponents. But in this situation, Donnie, if you're in Haxton's shoes, you can't really check behind, because, of course, that means you're going to lose the hand no matter what. But what's what's Katz supposed to do here? Because he also probably thinks he's going to have to fire at it in order to win this hand. Yeah, I think this would be worth a bet from Carey, trying to pick it up. Oh wow, he does but check. He checks. I mean, see if we can get a Haxton to check behind, or if Haxton will barrel at it. Earlier we saw Haxton, you know, check behind. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Wow. To the muck. Katz gives it up quickly, and Haxton steals one. Any merit in leading there, Donnie, or is, is, does the hand just not add up <laughs> for Katz? I mean, if he wants to win. <laughs> right. You, know, yeah. you don't really have much showdown value with, with Jack High in that spot, I would think. Action continues four-handed. Almost scared to start out this soda journey. I'm most scared by the full sugar varieties. How scared how about is what? how is it legal to sell this? By the way, how is it legal to sell anything? Seventy-seven grams. You ask the people on TikTok, how is it legal to sell broccoli? <laughs> Here's a look at a 2022 to remember for Sean Winter. 23 tournament caches, nine six-figure caches is unbelievable. Three tournament wins, 3.7 million in earnings. And of course, fifth on the PGT rankings. This year, everyone is gonna try to finish in the top 40 because we got a $1 million free roll at the end of the year. Coming up, streaming live on Poker Go, of course. Cool Boys here with six is raising it up. Jack 10 5 on the flop. Two spades. Ha Haxton hits his jack. Colbert's sixes all of a sudden shrivel up. like we're going to be checking again. Shoved there from Haxton, applying maximum pressure, and Colpois lays it down immediately, now down to 21 big blinds. You're just making up for your ace 10, 90,000? 90, 93,000, sorry. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start this. Yeah, I do regret <laughs> that one. 97 might have got it done. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool boys, well, like, what do you think? What the heck, man? What do you think? 80, to call you with on that one. 80. 83 and a half percent jam, thir the other 90, 97. Sean Winter might have the best no, memory of any poker player. player. Yes. Oh my Seems God. like he just pulls this crazy stuff out with exact precision. All right, I got eight sodas to try. More walks. None of them Let's I've had see. ever tried even no, once. No, like so this. there oh you go. Cole God, Boys. Wow, Cole Boys gets a walk what with the ace, king of diamonds. <laughs> you better off not looking. No, no, no. I want to know. I want the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Does Cole Boys look like a guy who doesn't welcome the pain? It's directly in correlation with just how shit-faced I'm going to get upon this, the completion of this tournament one way or the other. Max, man, I'm really going to get after one. <laughs> I want to be invited to Dan Cole Boys' misery. I don't want to be in invited to his... <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, I maybe I couldn't handle it. I'll, I'll watch the vlog afterwards. Right, like that's right. the type of level that I'm at. <laughs> All right, I'm opening. I'm opening the regular, full sugar, <laughs> Mountain Dew. All of this, by the way, cost me sixteen bucks. S sixteen bucks. That's, that's nothing. Nothing bad. I mean, <laughs> I ride my bike really hard, and I need about hundred grams of carbs an hour when I perform. So I can just live off Mountain Dew now, actually. <laughs> I think. Good thing about being short, so it's like every squeeze, you can kind of block or out squeeze it. See if you're going all in or if you're folding. Huh. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> all right. I tried a Mountain Dew so for the very first time. Bad, I, I will say this. It is not nearly as sweet as I expected it to be. There you go. Moose Tech, welcome to the chat. It's actually pretty good. Publis Thoreau said, what did I hear will be $1 million free roll. So that free roll is for the top 40 on the PGT leaderboard at the end of the season. Plus, we're going to give away some special seats via some dream seat promotions. And we actually just announced the first one today. You guys can check it out on PGT.com. We've partnered with the Run Good Poker Series. If you win one of their events... A ring event. On. You earn eligibility to compete in the Dream Seat Invitational in November at Thunder Valley Casino. And then the winner of that Dream Seat Invitational tournament will win a seat into the PGT Championship. So if you're a mid major, lower stakes grinder, and there's a Run Good Poker Series event in your area, I would highly encourage you to get out there and experience it. Just head on over to uh, I believe it's RunGoodPokerSeries.com or RunGood.com. Check it out. Also check out Play.PGD.com. Play free poker pick'em contests. Win real prizes. There you go. That's right. All for Let's free. Let's go. We're just, we're just giving away everything. Yeah, every <laughs> we're, we're giving everything away. It's great. <laughs> Cats here with a real hand. Ace check offset on the button. Sean Winter here, King 10 offsuit. Might be a silly question, but is this a good hand? Um, King 10 offsuit in this situation? I mean, small blind is harder to play it from because you still have Ike to act behind you in the big blind. I think it's fine in this spot, you know, given the ICM, given you got Cole Boys on the shorter side. So just let it go. I mean, it's also worth considering that, you know. Katz is known to be a little bit on the tighter side, and at this final table, we haven't get him, haven't seen him. Sorry, get too out of line. So something you also want to consider. And then King Ten, you know, not the best hand to three bet as well if you wanted to possibly take that route. Check check on the flop here after Haxton called from the big blind with Queen Three offsuit. Haxton hits a pair of threes, takes the lead in this hand, but still, lots of outs for Katz on the turn who picks up a flush draw. Five of diamonds. Haxton gets the check mark. 
with the pair of threes. Cats at no point taking a stab at this so far. It really just looks like Cats doesn't want to tangle too much with anyone. Makes you wonder how he got all those <laughs> chips to begin with. <laughs> Probably playing a little bit more free yesterday, not thinking so much about the cup. And then gets to here today, oh, four left, feels a little bit more real. Cats makes good. the call though. Yeah, that's good too. Cats calls it off there for 25k. Sees the bad news and Haxton keeps stacking him up now up to 2.2 million. Cats down to 1.5. Winter on 1.1. And Cold Poise are short stack with 24 big blinds. Curtis Webb says, why no C-bet from Cats, Donny? Is, is that a common spot to just C-bet? I mean, he could certainly C-bet on that flop. Especially with the, I believe it was, he had the Ace of Hearts in his hand. It's 450. Okay. But I think this is just what we're seeing from Kerry Katz today. I think, you know, now that we've seen it, you know, for the last hour and a half, hour 20 minutes or so, I think this is kind of what we can expect, is him to take a more conservative route to the hands that he's playing. Fifty. Haxton definitely turning the screws on Cole Poise here. Oh, pocket jacks. Wow. 24 big blinds for Cole Poise. Ten 150. 150. Quick 3-bet there. Or sorry, quick fold there to the 3-bet from Cole Poise. If you're just tuning in, up to 4,000 viewers right now. Love to see it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll be here with you guys until the end. And the uh, soda tasting will also continue. Oh, we might be dancing there. Could have been. Cold Boys was ready to dance. Oh, yeah. Two jacks. Ready to go. But, yeah, when we hit when we hit 1,000 likes on the video, we'll give away a free annual subscription. Oh. Also, we're chasing 370,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. We're going to give away two additional annual subs when we get there. So if you're new to the channel and you're just tuning in for the very first time, please subscribe right now. We have daily highlight clips on our channel. Everything, of course, all about the shows that we produce. High Stakes Poker, No Gamble, No Future, the upcoming World Series of Poker. If you like the World Series of Poker, we have all that content as well on the YouTube channel. So if you're a poker fan, don't miss out. Cole Boy's here. Cool. King Jack off. Calls for... Calls Cats is raised after limping. Ace, king, <coughs> six on the flop. Cats picks up top pair. Cole boys with middle pair. We've got exclusive content coming up for PokerGo subscribers with new episodes of High Stakes Poker starting to air in just four days. Can't wait. It's going to be so good. 150. Cats continues for 150 here with top pair. Did the Cobos fall asleep? No, he's awake. He might have. He's awake. <laughs> I think I want Dan Colpoise at every final table. I'm definitely a fan. Definitely not. That one might look real fucking stupid on TV. Ace Jack. You have a king? Maybe. Was it good? That's a good fold. Guess we'll find out. 
Na, 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 na. Cast now back up to 1.6 million after drifting down a little bit in the last few orbits. Here's a look at the last five years of Kerry Katz. Of course, that insane year in 2019 where he won $10.7 million, close to $2 million last year, and $3 million in 2021. Closing in on the top 10 of Poker's all-time money list. The chat has been rather quiet the last hour or so. Can we get a weather update in the chat, yeah, please? let's go. Give us a weather update. I rode my bike in the snow this morning, and I, li I live in Las Vegas. What? I rode my bike in the snow. Jeez. I drove out to, to the beautiful town of Blue Diamond. There you go. And uh, this was the scene. Wow. That's crazy. It's pretty That's cool. cool, though. Look, look at this. That's awesome. Meanwhile, Haxton raising to 45K. Cole Poise with nines, making it 125. This could get in here, ladies and gentlemen. This could get in here. Some of the time, Haxton is going to pull the trigger here. I mean, this ace five of spades is one of the hands that a lot of these guys like. A lot of the solvers like it. I'm not so sure oh. here, given. Oh. Wow, the there show. you go. Haxton moves all in. Colpois makes the call, and we got an all-in showdown here. Dan Colpois at risk for 23 big blinds. He's going to need these nines to hold up, or otherwise we'll see him on the rail. Anthony, you have a nice sweat here. What did you have, Kerry? <laughs> I don't even remember. I, had, I might not even have looked at my I had a similar hand to both. Sean, how do you feel about me here? I had 9-3 with a spade. What do you feel about me here? I want you to uh, no, you don't. I don't think I don't think he'd do, I don't think he'd do that to me. No, I think he did. <sighs> wow, there it is. Ace, Ace. King, Deuce. This is a you said you had the nine three. Just game. I had nine three. He's about to one out <laughs> you, buddy. Seems right. A fair and just game. It is not for Dan Colpoy. Seven on the turn. Two outs and two outs Let's only. See, this is the live one. Let's put it in the universe. I had nine three with a spade. Uh, I don't remember. River card. Queen of Hearts. Sorry. Dan Colpois eliminated. It's the way she goes, boys. It's the way she devastated. Goes. May the best man win. Colpois collects 130k. Not a bad Come week on. for him. Later. But not the result that he was looking for. Winter, I'll take you up on Dragon Ridge, though, baby. Bring the bucket hat. Of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> Colpois disgusted with that ace on the flop. Haxton rakes in the chips, now up to 2.6 million. Sean was in the button. short stack with 51 big blinds. Yeah. One more spot, Kerry. You get to celebrate. Wait, what if you get second and I get first? Do you still win? No. Oh. Really? Oh. That's, un that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> All these final tables you've made. Yeah, but you would have won two tables. events, Sean. Yeah. Water, food, <laughs> massage girl from the Aria. I'm there for you, buddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Got a big fan. Always good to feel support. <laughs> Anthony, who's sweating there. He is the current leader on top of the Poker Girl Cup standings. He needs Isaac Haxton to win the event and Katz to finish yeah, third. Like 25 push carry down the stairs again. on break. <laughs> if Isaac Haxton wins and Katz yeah. finishes second, Katz will win. What? Sean Winter and Kerry Katz can also both win right. if they just win the event. <laughs> it's just 25, 20, right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely not premeditated. <laughs> Katz limping the button, Donnie, with Ace Queen. Yeah, and Winter keeping it small with the sixes. I mean. Producer Aiden just showed, showed up after a, a long hiatus. <laughs> and family, uh, extremely confused by having eight bottles of soda on our desk. Remco said he's never had Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper the other day, so I stopped at the store this morning and I got every variety that they had of Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. I didn't know that till today, yeah. Cats with top pair, top kicker here. There's no money in the middle, and there's three relatively <laughs> good hands in play. <laughs> this is not normally the three-handed poker that you see. <laughs> what is check? Was it pointed at you? was. Catch just continues to, to keep things small. He just called pre-flop, didn't bet the flop with top pair. Top pair in the back door, not flush draw as well, mind you. I mean, 
It's not just your normal top pair. No, this is very, a very strong hand. And uh, could see him getting one street from Winter, who has some outs. And, and you know, also here, well, I'm surprised he checked there, because I don't think you just want to be given free cards. I mean, we can see that he does still hold the best hand, but kind of a connecty type of board on the turn there. That one definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to check differently. Give away, give away my hand. We're playing one-hour levels, by the way, in case anyone is wondering. The fact that his hand got checked all the way to the river is kind of shocking to me. See if Kerry wants to finally fire some chips in. Pot's 80k. I mean, maybe just try 200. Yeah. 85. 85, okay. small. Slight over bit. Small over bit here. <laughs> Hacks trying to figure out if there's any. <laughs> combination of cards that he can think of. Sometime in these spots when you you just start really thinking of cards that you can beat, you know, you <laughs> talk yourself into it. Oh, like he's got to have, you know, uh, Jack-10. Right. <laughs> all right, you're going to have to show me. Well, all right. Wow, gets paid off. Katz shows the ace-queen and rakes in Same a nice queen. one. <laughs> Not yeah. quite that. <laughs> I might have had you. Idea. No, you probably had me. You earned that one. Definitely. Not to wait till the flush and the trip seven's got there. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we showed signs of weakness. Everyone showed signs of weakness. Many times. Six times. The eight times. <laughs> yeah, well, your signs of weakness are not always what Eight consecutive signs of weakness. That's true. I was actually super strong. Me he too. was. Me too. What? Go ahead. Cooler. <laughs> you said mm. H-O? No, I said me too. 45. H-O? Confused. Very confusing. Let me go back to the weather report that we got earlier here. <laughs> it's snowing in Arizona. Um, are you in, <laughs> Flag be are you in Flagstaff? <laughs> Clear skies in Maryland. Hot in Sydney. God, I wish it was hot here. Donnie, I'm freezing. You keep saying how nice it is that it's so cold in the studio. I, I like it I cold. I am freezing Well, it's right cold now. in this this part of the studio, yes. this room. The rest of the studio is warm, and I don't like it. I, to, I like coming in here, hanging out in these streams with all the people. Anthony Rojas says... You guys are just not reading. It's definitely not quiet in the chat. It was quiet there for a bit, but here's a look, by the way, at Anthony who needs Katz to bust next to have a shot at the title. Katz, of course, very aware of this. <laughs> yeah. And the I would say so. The implications of this. Well, actually, the, the Katz's stack size and the information that he has to finish at least second to have a chance to win is going to create a really interesting dynamic as reflected by the hand we just saw. For sure. And we've seen it before. Sean Winter is also somebody who's willing to get very short at times, not go too crazy. As they mentioned at the table earlier, it's always very hard to get Sean Winter's chips. The event that he won, event number one, he came back from a really, really short stack. So you could very well just see Ike kind of run away with this thing if he just stays on the gas. Absolutely. Well, Winter knows he has to win. So Winter is also, also encouraged to take some more risks. Which I think is why with the King-Queen yep. against Cole Poise, he decided to put it in earlier. Donald says, no snow in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> that probably means that it's rainy and windy and gross. It's snowing in Vienna. for me to get second. That's sick. I like that. I'll take it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Well, he's not rooting for you to get second if Kerry Katz gets first. I mean, <laughs> true. <laughs> he's rooting for Haxton to win first and foremost. In the immediate future, <laughs> he is rooting for Kerry Katz to go out third. Yes. <coughs> if
if Sean Winter goes out next, then Kerry Katz locks it up because he would be heads up with Haxton or he would win, and those two scenarios would give Kerry Katz the Poker Go Cup title, 30. the $50,000 championship bonus. But if Kerry Katz goes out next, then Anthony Hu is still live. Katz making the call here on the turn. With the ace of clubs, we see Isaac Haxon now gets the check mark with straight. <coughs> Eight high straight. The spot here where I think Haxton would want to bet. I understand there is a higher straight possible. There are some flush possibilities, but given Katz's tendency so far to check behind. He goes with the overbet. Look at that. You like Katz that number gives it up. today? You. Yeah, it works every time. <laughs> Two twenty-five, feeling alive. Get out of who's shot. <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. She, she can be in the background. It's pretty nice. Like if you As win we this just tournament, talked about, Kerry Katz uh, will win the Poker Girl Cup if Sean Winter busts next. Twenty-one percent of the next. Bahamas buy-ins. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I'll feel like I'm pre-rolling for the next couple of days. <laughs> Uh, you, you gotta. Well, I guess the first event's 100. Christopher wondering does WSOP and Boca Go still air on ESPN? WSOP now airs on CBS and on CBS Boca Sports. Go. CBS Sports, yes. And on I think a set was Boca Go. Here. And the best That's part important. is. It is on Poker Go without blackouts or restrictions, meaning that wherever yeah, you live, it's live. It's, it's live, and it's also without, like, without blackouts. Back in the day, under the old contract, we were not allowed to stream it globally. And then when that contract ended, we decided the whole world needs to see this. That's right. So now global coverage of the World Series Poker Main event on Poker Go, which, of course, the greatest <laughs> event of the year. It's our version of the Super Bowl. The only difference is it lasts for like 16 days, <laughs> 15 hours a day. It is the best. Daily highlights, behind the scenes vlogs, and some free preview streams of the World Series Booker main event later this year. Donnie and I will be providing as much content as possible from the floor inside the now horseshoe on the Las Vegas Strip. They're doing so much construction in this city right now, it is literally unbelievable. They're building a giant billboard probably with a 12k resolution on that street corner in front in front of the yeah. horseshoe they're painting the building indoor they put all new carpets in with horseshoes on it the whole poker room has been revamped if you are a fan of poker and if, if you can afford to come out you, you better book your travel soon because the WSOP this year is going to be absolutely crazy Once again, pot staying small. Donnie, I, I think we're in for a long one here. I think that these players want to give well, don't want to give an inch to each other. There's only 60 in the pot, Kerry. <laughs> yeah, I know, I need a fold. He's taking the Ike strategy. Or overcall. You're, represent, I mean, you're representing Queen 9, man. I would never bluff you, Sean. You're representing Queen 9. Are you going to show me like 8-9 suited or some weird thing? All right. Should have showed him one. I've made four. worse folds. Me too. <laughs> Darren Haddon says, Katz deserves to win. I mean, he is a grinder and a competitor trying to make this work. This would, of course, look very well on his poker resume, which already is very impressive. 12th on the all-time money list, of course, winner of Super High Rollable London back I didn't even in have anything, 2019. Though. Yeah. It was tempting. Call for the chop. <laughs> Blood the board. <laughs> Don't want him to try. I'm trying to drop, chop up my ante instead of lose it all, board. you know? Once again, a reminder, when we hit 1,000 likes on today's video, we're going to give away a free annual subscription to Poker Go. When we hit 370,000 YouTube subscribers, which we only need about 400 more, we're going to give away two additional free subs.
Another small one here. Limped pot. Small blind versus big blind. Queen nine seven two spade flop. Check check to the turn. Second hard comes with the three of hearts. That's right, Chuck D. Hit the like button. It's free. That is correct. Totally free. And you could win a sub. You never know, man. <coughs> Joshua said, stopped for gas. Thank you for the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Jason Parker, welcome back. He's been with us all week. Appreciate the regulars tuning in every day. Can we just stream something tomorrow, Donnie? Like a live feed of you making breakfast no. or something? I don't. I'm. I need a day off. You need a day off? Yeah. Just Decompress. Yeah. yeah. What are your weekend plans? Playing poker. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, gonna head over to the wind tomorrow and play. Play a little. Gamble a little bit. No gamble, no future. <laughs> These pots are staying very small. Looks as though we are closing in on our first break of the day. Reminder for those watching right now, we are streaming this entire final table in full. I think we've got one or two more hands here before the break, so get your beverages ready. Maybe a little snack. I want a snack update from everyone after the break. That's right. Motown. I'm going to see if we can find something to eat around here. Billy asked if we're going to PSPC. No, they didn't give us the platinum pass. So we're not going. Whoever's in charge of the platinum passes, <laughs> give us a call. And we'd be there. Exactly. The Robbie, got the Robbie pipped? It's important to have the Robbie pipped. Bro said Joshua is speeding. I, he did say it was a five hour drive and that he's halfway there, so he has to be speeding. <laughs> That's just math. He was he was already underway, I'm assuming. As he would have called me. <laughs> he had to have been already or underway, raised. right? Probably but then called. how did he fire off that text? Maybe raised. Good point. We've already been live for almost two hours on it. Huh? Rod asked, what is GPI THM? That is GPI slash the Hendon Mob. Global Poker Index slash the Hendon Mob. Remco and I are probably the that'll be once an hour going forward. most frequent visitors yes. to the HendonMob.com. Oh, okay. That'll be, that'll be good. Tracks live tournament earnings and Do we some need online 15? earnings. Do you guys need 15? Yeah, I'd like for all poker yeah, I got I to gotta go over to um, Venetian to get a Diet Coke. Venetian? <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> what are you doing? King 10 suited here on the button for Haxton. <laughs> First prize for those one ring, $600,000. Can't, me can't mix up the routine. The whole Venetian Diet Coke thing, I mean, you nearly forget what I'm opening to. <laughs> You're opening to enough. All right, Isaac Haxton rakes in the last That's hand a, before the break. Haxton, of course, continues to be the chip leader with over 106 big blinds. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the continuation of this final table. Chip grounds here presented by Hair Club. Sean wins the short stack with still a million chips, 40 big blinds to be exact. Time to grab some snacks. We'll see you guys in about six minutes as the action will continue. I'm pretty fired up. Don't piss off the chip leader, carry. I couldn't tell, Jeff. <laughs> That's a good point. The house that Hefe built, Poker Go Studio. His 12th Poker Go Cup cash. That is the most in history. Isaac Caxton, the chip leader, defends in the big blind with the jack eight. Both flop and eight in a really trouble, perhaps, for our chip leader. Catch snap check back. Yeah, remaining under rep, trying to maintain a pot control here. He does not want to put himself in a really bad spot against Ike Haxton. And as we can see, he is in a tremendous situation 
Top pair, top kicker. Slight over bet from Haxton on the turn. Love this out of Ike. I think he would do it with plenty of semi bluffing types of hands, mixing in something as good as top pair. Unfortunately, he stepped right yeah. into it. That's raising here to 300,000. Yeah, he'll do this, right, Kerry? Try and figure out where he's at. Hoping to just get the showdown for the times that he has called right now and then checked to on various rivers. Puts Ike in a really strange situation, thinking, wait a minute, I actually have top pair. I'm not bluffing. What do you have, Kerry? This pot becoming rather inflated, too, right off the bat. Axton does make the call. Just like that, almost 700K in the middle. The river is the king of spades. His hand is best. He whipped that thing over about as fast as he could. Happy to get the show down there and drag the opening pot, and it is Gary Katz now with the chip lead eight early. Eight. I'm out of control. Gotta play the rush. <laughs> Actually, I'm much stronger than last time. <laughs> Fair warning. Axton has a strong one in the small blind. Watch feedback, the wizard man. go to work, too, Ike. There may not be anyone out there quite as well studied and versed at No Limit Hold'em tournaments than Ike Haxton. Here's our first look at Dan Cole, boys. In the big blind. In He's in there. Burn a Sunday best. <laughs> we just had that flop. Eight six deuce with two spades. Oh Taxton flops the ace out flush draw. Cold boys the overs in the busy. gutter. Cats with top pair. All right, friendly game. Is it? Yeah, catch checks course. back. Jack on the turn. It's Cold boys straight draw on open ender. It's top pair to Ike. Ike, about time we start putting some money in the middle, I would have to believe. Connecting with the jack, also the nut flush draw. We just saw how Katz proceeded one hand to go with top pair, maintaining pot control. Decision now, Colpois. What are we doing with the open ender? We still have carry behind us. Go. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna be Whoa, close. wow. Big, Grab it. Fold. Finds Last the fold. Card. No. You can't do that here? Nope. Lame. That is the main thing I'm here for. That is certainly fair. Pure mercenary. The only one of these four who cannot win the oh, Pogo Cup. And certainly play spoiler. <laughs> I like that. If he does, he'd also win almost $600,000. Another pretty one here. He's three in the big. <coughs> Makes the 
fall on the pot from King 7-7. Seven, seven. It's all Axton. Just pure for the wizard. Isaac Axton. We're in for, I believe, quite a long day, Jeff. Average stack about 85 big blinds. Wow. 345 on the table. And one hour levels. Hour levels. Guy. Yeah. This level a bit abbreviated since they played about 15 minutes of it last night. Old boy's too good to let go just yet. Turn is a four. Another lead from Haxton. once more. Just a non-believer with ace high. 435k in the pot. Is he prepared to call one more street with ace X? This is awfully ambitious. Uh, I'm uncertain if he believes that Haxon would simply give up by the river if he didn't have a hand and he would only fire a third shell if he actually had a king, potentially a seven. It's a weird spot for Ike, too, five. thinking, okay, well, maybe he's got a worse king. Maybe I'm alive. up against a seven, but I'm still going to price it up for the times I am against an inferior king. You saw the instant fold there by Colpoy as he was just expecting just glad we a got shutdown by accident. Oh, it just sounds like Sean brought a, a knife to a gunfight. Colpoy's. The birds. No. How did I not get a penalty? Nobody reported you. Cat sound of the way. How much are you playing? Yeah, about seven. And this is reasonable. Ike, Jack Nine suited in position. Starts with 135 big blinds. Does he feel like gambling? C3? Old boy's also quite deep to start, around 50 big blinds. Next, we'll make the call. Here we go. Cold boy's 580k behind. A little nervous. Quick swig of water. Yeah. 350k in the pot. Big spot here. Comes yep. ace 5 3 with all hearts. An immediate check as well. You can see one of the rare instances where Haxton is stone dead on the flop. He's you may be wondering hard. why Cold Poise is only 94% of the time. Well, can come straight cards, put a wheel on board, or heart heart for a flush. <laughs> okay. $150. $150. Right when the king rolls off, Cold Poise bets 150000 brain going too. He's eyeing Cold Poise up and down thinking, is there any way I can win this pot? Going to let it go. Nice pickup for Cold Poise. Nice hand, Ben. Katz has a tenth, a sixth, and two fourths going into today. Just enough to get into the spot where if he finished second and Isaac Haxton won, and Katz would win the cup would have six more points than Anthony Hu if that were the case. You know, and wouldn't you think that that should be 
the case. It's his There's fifth cash and here, fourth then. final table yeah. out of an eight-event series. Points. That is truly 30, incredible oh, to put 30. up those results. Yeah, if you go 10th, 6th, 4th, 4th, and then 2nd in the main. Something in that ballpark. The cup is well You've deserved. earned it. Yeah. yeah. Anthony, who our current leader, by the way, is a seventh in event one, a second and a first. A couple boys check calls here. There's a four. Cole Boy's giving him the business, too, staring right into the soul of Sean Winter. Oh, my, and he just buries it. Winter. Winter. That's not good, buddy. That's the real hand right there. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly That's is. The <laughs> Patented Sean Winter. Smart. I got you back. There, there it is. That's my, that's even? me get, yes. I barely owed you, I owed you a little bit. It's a little flesh wound. Eddie River? I know we're limping. I think I modeled that one. <laughs> Winter marks the king Sorry. seven hex to eight in the small one. Oh. Nine and change. Hexton yeah. this time just calling in the small blind. Sorry, Rick. Cole Poise just quickly oh, man. Was that the lucky knuckling trick? back King 10. 3 3 deuce. Yeah, it's a bad, there it is, just over bad, which is really ridiculous. When you have a hand like Cole Boy's King-10, you're yeah. like, what do you what do you have? Yes, you would bet a four, a deuce, any full house, any quad, but, but would you, you make would never do this with ace high. With a four or a deuce. Right, and, and maybe. But how about all the nonsense hands? He could just simply be limping like nine, eight off. Would Ike just overbet the river as played? Probably would, right? He'd mix it in, which makes King-10 feel like a call from time to time. peek over at Ike. Try and pick up anything. And a great fold. That fold. is hard to do in the moment. I know, thinking, why? You just have king high. He bet 130 into 40. It, 
Excellent. Ike just doesn't ever have to have anything there. One more hand at this level. Suited for cold points. Seven six suited. Cats on the button. Um. Anyway, I can take a minute break. Yeah, you can take a go. I'm sorry. I got Let's time. go now. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. Hey, Ike, we're gonna take an unofficial one one or two minute break after that. I'm fine. Welcome back to the PokerGo studio. The 2023 PokerGo Cup is about to wrap up, but we still got plenty of poker left to be played. Event number eight is a 50K No Limit Hold'em event. There are three players remaining. Thanks all so much for joining us here on this free YouTube stream. You can listen to Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call on PokerGo.com. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. The break was a little longer than we expected. But here we are, playing for $598,000. Sean Winter, Isaac Haxton, and Kerry Katz are going to decide who will win this event, and on top of that, who will win the 2023 PokerGo Cup and take home that 50 k cash bonus on top of the silver PokerGo Cup. Action underway. Sean Winter in the small line with five, Queen-9 suited. Donnie, let's talk dynamics for a second here. Kerry Katz, of course, playing a satellite to get at least into the top two. A satellite. It feels like he's <laughs> playing a satellite. <laughs> and then Sean Winter knows that he's playing to win, to win the cup and the bonus, and Isaac Haxton is going to take advantage of oh. both of them. Yeah, I would think that Isaac Haxton would start ramping up the aggression, knowing that the sp of the spots his two opponents are in and what they want to achieve. Carrie, I think, as we've seen so far throughout this final table, has taken a conservative approach. Certainly wants to try and get into the top two, ideally the top two, where it's him and Isaac Haxton, because if that happens, he locks up the cup. Sean Winter, I, I think, is going to take a little bit more risk, as you said, trying to play to win. But he just really hasn't had kind of the cards to want to wanna go s swing big, but that could change. We've seen lots of small pots. We're going to see a lot more small pots. But one thing we know for sure is that we will crown a winner today. Blinds are now 15K, 25K with a 25K big blind ante. The blinds go up every hour. So you better sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because there's so much still to come. I asked before the break, what kind of snacks are you guys grabbing? I'm a big popcorn guy myself. Oh my gosh, popcorn. I miss popcorn. I will absolutely binge popcorn like every night for like three weeks. So oh, I love just it. every night. And Do you make your own? Yeah, and it's not like the worst thing in the world that you right. need. As long as you don't, you know, I don't really put anything on it. Yeah. I am a huge kettle corn fan, which is not that good for you. <laughs> I, I usually like look up like how many calories are in something. But I never do for cattle corn because I don't want to know. Because then I, sometimes I go to South Point, I catch a movie, I get myself a large kettle corn, and I just live my dream. <laughs> and then in most, in most cases, I barely make it through the previews oh, and just great. crush the entire thing. But I'm afraid it's like probably 2,000 calories for that whole tub. Meanwhile, we've arrived on the river. Queen high versus seven high. Is Haxton going to stab again to try and get Winter off this hand, or is he going to give up? He's already fired on the flop and on the turn in this limp pot. Winter picked up a flush draw on the turn. Did not get there. <coughs> Darren is having broccoli and hummus, I call. That's a terrible bluff. No one eats that. Broccoli and hummus. Portillo's okay. beef sandwich. Sounds amazing. Nachos and cheese. Well, not at the movie theater because those are disgusting. <laughs> the liquid cheese. Oh, man. Could never. 
Paxton trying to make up his mind here. How big we going? Are you effing me up with a 7-3 clubs? Oh! What? Please show those cards. You called it. Wow. <laughs> nice call. Holy. How does he know? Almost call. I, I, it was a tough call. Sean Winter just calling the cards out. No pair. Oh, big ace. He's going to check. Sean, the next time you do that, you press call and you look like a legend. Jacks. You go viral. You are good at that exact hand. What? Wow. All right. I'm awake. We're here. We're alive. Here's a look at some scenarios. Donnie, run us through it. All right. If Kerry Katz wins this event or finishes runner-up to Isaac Haxton, only Isaac Haxton can't finish runner-up to Sean Winter, then he will win the 2023 Poker Girl Cup. If Winter wins this tournament, then he will win when you can the only 2023 Poker Girl Cup. That's probably not, Isaac that's Haxton not cannot win it. I mean, he can just deny the other two. And in that case, Anthony I mean, Hu, who is on the I mean, sidelines here sweating, play. will win. Anthony Hu is the current play. leader and just needs to fade. Not to Ike. Ike would have, Ike would have been impressed. He would have berated me. No, oh, that's not his style. Action on Haxton in the small blind. 9-3 of diamonds. True. Exactly. I probably would have high-fived you. Yeah, he wouldn't have been DB says, I have raisins, and I ate them with a spoon. Especially if it was really bad. I'm a big fan of raisins. I don't know about the spoon thing. <laughs> John I asks, I love some raisins. Hey, too. everyone, how's it going? It's going great. I'm watching poker. All my friends are here in the chat. All that's missing is a glass of wine and maybe some popcorn. Haxton bets 25K with a pair of nines. Katz makes the call with a gut shot. Fourth clubs doesn't help cats. Looking for a queen or a ten. Okay. Roberg says, I wish I had I some control. Toblerone. Six on the river. I'm not, I'm not allowed to buy stuff like that because I will eat it all in one sitting. <laughs> you know how it says serving size? Whatever it's wrapped in or packaged in, that to me is the serving size. Bag yeah. of chips, one serving size. Chocolate bar, one serving size. You can't limit us. Like you just can't do it. You can't tie me down like that. All right, your deuce is good. It's a three. Close though. Yeah. Is that an action? With a nine. I check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a nine. Okay. Nine's a real, very good. That's. It's way good. Way good. <coughs> David Becker, bottle of wine, one serving size. <coughs> you're living, you're living life. If you can also do that with bottles of wine. Lately. What's going on? It's Play weird. It, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, you, I, you should, I know. I, at least they're flesh wounds. <sighs> Maybe I haven't seen enough hands. I'm sure you've bluffed a few. Winter is good. Brett says, thank you, PokerGo, for the free stream. Thank you, Brett, for tuning in. All you have to do is like the video to show some appreciation. Thanks. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 370,000 subscribers. We might need to celebrate that today on today's stream. A 1,000 likes means we're going to give away a free annual subscription to PokerGo. Maybe we might hit it in the next few seconds. Let's go. Cats here, once again limping, this time with Queen 10 off. Winter raising with six deuce off in the big blind. Donnie, is Cats at risk here of getting picked on in the next few hours? Yeah, to a degree. I, I think he'll play back enough. No, no, no. I'm, I probably should have gave him more thought, to be honest. I was leaning. Heavily that you had that, but I, I didn't have anything. But you had the winner. Harder to call when you don't have anything. Yeah, I mean, am I, I mean, what's what's the difference between my hand and? You could have had seven deuce. And you could have been bluffing with the best hand. And king eight of diamonds or something. What's the difference? Well, you tell us, Sean. You were the one who called it correctly. 
I don't know. I don't know what your end was. <laughs> Worth thinking in. Jack four, also not a very good hand. All right, we hit a thousand likes. I'll give everyone a chance to subscribe to the channel right now because you need to be a subscriber in order to chat. And then in a few minutes, we'll do our first giveaway for an annual subscription. So subscribe right now to the channel if you want to be part of the giveaway. We do this on every stream, by the way. So if you're new to the channel, giving you another reason to tune in. Axton here, picking on the limp. Winter trying to give himself a reason to play this hand, but... It's not very good. <laughs> I'm glad you're in that seat, not me. That was a, it's actually pretty lucky. I don't. There's nothing wrong with the seat. I just have an eye on your direct left when he has a lot of chips. Yeah, but makes it a little tougher. Sevens here for winter after Haxton just no, won a nice a pot time. with sevens. There we go. Oh, the, the giveaway people, the giveaway chasers woke up, woke up in the chat. Well, I hope that one of our regulars gets the annual subscription. Also, not hating on the new people. Thank you so much for joining us. Winter picking this one up with pocket sevens. Donnie, this is such a different battle than we've seen over the last few days. Had it over. Everyone playing so conservatively. And also, we haven't seen too many coolers. No, we haven't seen too many coolers. I'm just really surprised to see Isaac Haxton play as conservative as he had. I mean, obviously, Cats and Winter have their reasons for playing conservative, right? They're trying to chase the cup. Ike can't win the cup. He can only win first place. Given his chip lead, more than 50% of the chips in play belong in his stack. Why not turn it up a bit? Anthony Hu there, looking on. The current leader on top of the Poker Girl Cup standings. Interesting stats there on the screen, Donnie. Sean Winter, winner of the U.S. Poker Open. Correct. Poker Masters. Correct. And now with a chance to win the Poker Girl Cup. Those would all be consecutively. So within one year... He would win. He would win all three of our masters, our majors. Majors, sorry, majors, and uh, it's safe to say that's going to be among the most impressive accomplishments in all of tournament poker. Yeah, because it's not. It's not just winning one singular event. That's not what Remco's talking about. He's talking about winning a series championship. So battling with some of the best tournament players in the world. At stakes that range anywhere from a ten thousand dollar buy up to a fifty thousand dollar buy in. You gotta do it over an extended period of time as opposed to just one singular event. And then for him to do it already twice and be this close to a third time, I mean that's just it really is incredible. Meanwhile. Sean Winter I still think is like underrated though. Like oh I, yeah. You know, when everyone talks about the best players in the world it's Daniel Negreanu, it's Jason Kuhn, it's Alex Fox and Stephen Chidwick, etc. Sean Winter's right there, man. He's always in contention in these PGT like majors. Always. Queen, but, Very yeah. impressive. It's always shows up. He's always there to battle. It's very impressive. Even if you call my exact hand, I'm not going to show it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm done donating. <laughs> not enough. You got his. Hey. He has plenty. 30 bags. On. Oh. Over. Well over. Haxton here with 119 big blinds. I'm in a hand. Cats for 54. <laughs> Winter with 33. You're my favorite, Sean.
I know for our giveaways in the past, we've done a lot of questions relating to the tournament. We've done casinos in Vegas. We've done the pizza questions. Um, I believe we've even done a what's your favorite soda question. Um, but we haven't talked too much about sandwiches, and I'm a big Ooh. sandwich fan. So for the giveaway today, submit your describe your favorite sandwich. It can be a lot of topics. Can be a little. I don't really care. Describe your favorite sandwich in the chat. This is just a bit of a joke. Everyone who submits anything or something is all automatically entered into this random draw. So please describe your favorite sandwich. And among everyone that submits, I will pick one random winner using my random number generator. And then we will credit you with a free year of Poker Go. Let's go. Let's get some sandwiches in the Let's chat. Let's go. Jack, nine, five on the flop, two clubs. Haxton with a flush draw. Winter with ace high. Donnie, what's your favorite sandwich? I have two that are like 100% my go-tos. Whenever I can make them, I will. Uh, number one is just an egg sandwich. You know, I love what a really good egg what sandwich. What else is on there? I mean, you know, some avocado, maybe some cheese, some hot sauce. Oh, yeah. You know, I keep it simple. Um, and well, then my other one, hey, my other one might be my favorite, banana and peanut butter. Very good. Banana and peanut butter, very good. Winter checks the Haxton in the big blind. Let's see if he's going to bet this Seven. huge draw. Also has a gut shot to go along with this flush draw. Woo pick says, do hot dogs count? Of course. <laughs> Anything on bread, in my opinion, is a sandwich. Banana, peanut butter, and honey from oh, fish sticks. That's good. Is it always toasted, Donnie, or do you also like the fresh, uh, fresh I mean bread? It it depends. I, I like to toast it, but sometimes I'm just lazy. Don't want to pull out the toaster, you know, whatever. The better the quality bread, the less important it is to toast it. That makes sense. I know you're a bread guy. I'm a huge You're a bread, bread connoisseur. I'm going to Arizona this weekend, and my favorite bakery is in Mesa. It is proof bread in downtown Mesa. I can't wait to go. Meanwhile, look at Isaac Haxton's bio sheet, 60 on the all-time money list. Bust. Yeah, proof bread. Go check it out. By the way, their YouTube Doctor channel is really cool. They well. show like start to finish Stop. how they make all their breads. Mm. Dr. Really Huey, you want, you want me to bring you back some bread? Hey. Yeah. Mr. Who? I'm, <laughs> I'm texting my girlfriend right now. Uh, uh, Extra uh, loaf for Donnie. You ever make your own bread? Uh, yeah. I, bread maker? Hard to get his I got a story on that. <laughs> <laughs> I got I so deep down. into making bread <laughs> during the pandemic that he had to I had to go somewhere and see someone about his problem. It's okay. Action, he doesn't action. know how to exploit. Oh, I, I did it come out good? Did you, like, did the like bread? A, like a big business yeah. man. Yeah, right. That that was the problem, Donnie. I got too good at it, <laughs> and then I was making bread all the time. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'd make two loaves, Raising and the first one, off. slice it up, a little oil. butter, salt and pepper, olive oil. I would crush a whole loaf just sitting on the couch. Yeah. yeah. And it became uh, a bit of a problem. Do this all for you, Sean? <laughs> yes. Fred's amazing. Is that in the na right neighborhood? No. <laughs> Seeing lots of great submissions here. Meatball marinara. <coughs> Turkey, provolone, bacon, tomato, and mayo. Oh, that sounds really good. A classic. Nice. iTunes listener says, my favorite sandwich is ham, American cheese on a sub bun, lettuce, cucumber, red onions with cheddar and sour cream ruffle chips on top. Let's go. Let's go. That's an order. Stack them high. Haxton, Haxton here raising on the button to 55K. Katz makes the call with 8-6 suited. Winter with a, with a somewhat of a interesting hand here. 8-6 off suit, of course. If this was suited, it would have been a far easier hand to play. At the end of this hand, we'll draw for the winner of the annual subscription. So get your subs in right now. See what I did there?
Brian C says, three days in a row now. I've been hungry because of this chat. There you go, Brian. That's I, right. Now I know how we feel. We're just here to help. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Sean Winter makes it 190k to go with A6 offsuit. All in. Wow. wow. Haxton finally doing what Donnie has been yeah. saying. There's the aggression we want to see. Quick folds. That's right. Get him, Mike. Come on. Isaac Haxton punishing both of his opponents. Donnie, is, are we reaching a point where winning the cup and the 50k cash Ike's prize zone. are valued too much well, you know over that. the pay jumps they're also playing for here at the final table? I mean, the pay jumps are large. Uh, I mean, I, I don't <laughs> know how much Sometimes each player values easy. those Way things. I mean, it seems gamble. like Kerry Katz values it a lot, really wants to win. He's come close to these series titles before. You know, I also think he wants to win probably because of the the series that he's had four caches so far coming into this cache. This is his fifth. Has made a couple final tables, but hasn't run so hot at this final table. So tequila. No, I don't, I don't drink. <laughs> you don't drink? Uh, well, we. Well, how much? Huh? <laughs> 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 Anthony, who trying to get? <laughs> yeah, yeah, get him drunk. Right Maybe they'll Dico. start splashing. That'd be so funny. Could see this go in here with uh, Haxton in the big blind with two eights. Two eights and three handed play. Might as well be two aces as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. Totally agree here. And Winter, of course, very good hand himself, ace queen off. Winter came into the final table with 20 big blinds. This is a perfect coin flip situation, but Haxton just decides to call. <coughs> Ace 10 3 rolls off. Winter hits exactly what he was looking for. I did my draw for the winner. I have the name. I will announce it as soon as this hand is over. Really surprised we didn't see Axton put that in there pre flop. Let's see if Winter's going to slow down here or not. But it looks like he's reaching. This, of course, disguising his hand perhaps a bit more. Continuing here on this ace high flop. Haxton, of course, has to give Winter credit for aces in this range, but there's a whole lot more he could be betting with. Haxton with a disciplined fold. Not too happy about it. All right, the winner of the free annual subscription to Poker Go is Matthew Milliken. M I L L I K E N. Matthew Milliken. Congratulations, you win a free year of Poker Go. Thanks, everyone, for playing. Like you guessed my hand. I if you guessed my hand, I wouldn't even tell you. I believe it. <laughs> I'm going to throw out King of Spades, Seven of Diamonds, anyhow. Did you beat that? Good. Jack three. Winter ace four, offsuit on the button. Potentially another raising situation. Matthew, in order to claim your prize, please send an email to social at pokergo.com. Send us a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so we can verify that it's really you. And then we'll be in touch to give you the code to get a free year of Poker Go. Bang, bang. Fishstick says, Matthew Milliken can <laughs> buy so many sandwiches with the subscription money he just saved. That's right. Hey, never never cheap out on your sandwiches. I mean, okay? the way inflation is right now, you might be able to get a sandwich and a half. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, I had a... Especially if it's one of those egg sandwiches that I like. Yeah. It's at least $27. Oh, my <laughs> God. I, I go to a French cafe close to my house. And it's seventeen dollars for a ham and cheese sandwich, and I always get it. It's on a yeah. it's on a French baguette. That's how I know you're rich. <laughs> you're going to f French cafes or in twenty seven dollar sandwiches. Seventeen. Seventeen. Whatever. Same thing. The thing is, is that <laughs> if I go, if I go to a chain restaurant, I would also enjoy myself, but I would eat four times the calories. 
for a similar size sandwich. It's kind of hard to think while you're talking, Anthony. <laughs> Sean Winter. Maybe that's his plan. As as you. It's funny that he says that because at the WSOP, for example, it is never quiet for even a second in that building. Come on, Anthony. Push his buttons. Let's see if we can get Sean Winter to blow up. Cats with the winning pair of sevens here on the river. Black Ty makes a good point. He says eggs are free. Yeah, Donnie, just get yourself a chicken. Well, then I have to buy the chicken. Why did you get a chicken? I don't have anywhere to put the chicken. You have a backyard. Yeah, but it's not prepared for a chicken. <laughs> Come on. Can someone send Donnie? Give a myself a coop, you know, like. Can someone send Donnie a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't send me a chicken. <laughs> What's the most you'll call? Oh, great question. I'm trying to think about Interesting table talk here. I don't think there's any amount that Winter will call. Like he just holds onto his chips so well. Fair sevens is good for cats, up to 1.4 million. This is such a match full of, I guess, tension, anxiety perhaps, stack anxiety. Might have cost you. I would have bluffed him off of it if you weren't talking. You probably would have. <laughs> might, wow. That, that might be the cup decider right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Winter trying to get into Anthony, who's uh, head, who's not even in the tournament. <coughs> Ro Roberg says, I got four chickens that supply me and my neighbor. Damn, that's lucky. John Barrier says most people that own chickens in urban settings always complain about having too many eggs. <laughs> Donnie, there you go. You can save yourself so much money. I mean, pretty sure my wife would let me come home with a chicken. <laughs> you imagine? Winter here coming home <laughs> with a pair of jacks. Haxton <coughs> already made his 55K on the button. and studying the chips that Winter has left behind. Very unlikely here to make a move, but still giving it some thought. Winter takes this one down with a pair of jacks before the flop. Kim Graham says, did I miss the giveaway? I'm sorry, but you did. However, if we hit 370,000 <coughs> subscribers on YouTube during the stream, we'll do two more. <coughs> we only need 400 more. I'm pretty sure there's 400 of you watching right now that are not subscribers to our YouTube channel. So smash subscribe on our YouTube channel. When we hit the magic number, we'll give away two more annual subscriptions. We'd love to give them away. We just got to keep you guys on your toes. Jack 7-7. Seven, seven. Trips for Haxton. Then you're done. Winter with nothing. Winter checks. 
Wow, Donnie, so many small bets. So many small pots. I'm starting to wonder. Is anyone ever going to bust? <laughs> they might be forced to. Thankfully, in tournaments, the blinds go up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, at this final table, they've been extended to an hour, though. Wow. Winter here with the check race to 75k. I spoke too soon. The pot just got a whole lot bigger. Ace of Diamonds on the turn. Locks it up for Mr. Hexton as long as he doesn't fold. There. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't How do you view this ace here, Donnie, given Winter's checkers on the flop from Hexton's perspective? I mean, I think that's a card that Winter's just going to have to shut down on. I think Winter's going to pick a pretty polarized range to bluff with. I don't think I would include an ace on. Or not, sorry, not bluff with, but check raise with. Like, he's going to check raise with some seven sometimes. Um, and then just total kind of bluffs like he has. Any ace high hands that he might connect with here, I would think he'd probably just check call flop, thinking he has some showdown value. Haxton getting a little tricky, checking behind. Oh, okay. wow. That king on the river might... This might get... Get some chips out of winter, although he has the tendency of calling exact cards of his opponent, so he probably just knows that Haxon has 7 4 of diamonds <laughs> somehow. If you're Haxon here, Donnie, given winter stack size, what sizing are you are you leaning towards? Again, winter with a little glance over at glance the over rail. To the, well, to the clock. Oh, give, give it a little randomization there. Oh. I thought he was upset he again. Was full pot at people talking on the rail. Very interested, of course. I mean, Winter leaving himself with 10 big blinds behind. This is a massive spot. We all know that Haxton is going to move all in here. But the question is, how is Winter going to interpret that? There it is. There's the shove. Isaac Haxton puts Sean Winter at risk. And he will be very pained to find out that he is on the brink of being eliminated if he decides to call here. Anthony Hu is rooting for a fold or a Sean Winter call and win. We know that Anthony Hu, if he knew the cards that we can see, would be rooting for a fold. Because <laughs> if Sean Winter does bust here, that means Anthony Hu cannot win the Poker Girl Cup and it would go to carry cats. Very good point. So intense spot all around. Intense on the rail, intense at the table. Of course, Kerry as well, sitting on the other side of the table. <coughs> he knows if Winter makes this call and loses, the cup is his. See those silver square plaques? Those are time extension cards, 30 seconds each. Sean has a lot of them that he can sit here and consider for a little while. I'm, I'm, I'm fine in the morning. <coughs> it doesn't feel like you have Jack Four Diamonds. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like that. You got the four diamonds. Part, Trying right? to decide if I want yeah. to carry the cup now or later. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. If Sean Winter gets knocked out right now, 
Gary Katz is our 2023 Poco you Cup champion. A, you might have changed since your long hair days where you bluffed uh, that dude on TV. <laughs> you did a similar thing, but you're a different human now. A different human. Sean Winter thinking again. Or sorry, burning out our time extension to think some Same more. Same human, actually. Which hands is Sean Winter thinking that I, I Haxton could have that he could beat? I mean, just the jack. You know, he called the flop with check right. back the turn and then decides to turn it into a bluff on the river. Jack four. And one from me, yeah. Does give it up. He does. Sean Winter now down to just nine big blinds. Mm -hmm. And Kerry Katz one big step closer to being the 2023 Pokego Cup champion. It's been an impressive run for Kerry. <laughs> and he'd be very deserving of the title. But Sean Winter not ready to give up just yet. And there's Anthony who a little bit of a... Less of a smile on his That's face right. now that uh, Sean Winter's down to nine big blinds. A bit of a gut punch, I oh want to yeah. say. Would have been a worse gut punch, though, if he would have called because True. we know he would have lost. And Sean Winter and Anthony Hu might have been walking out the door together. <laughs> yeah, both going to the bar. Oh! One twenty-five. Haxton continues just raising it up, trying to chip away at both his opponents. Three point six million now versus the one point four of Kerry Katz. Is it a bad fold, Mike? Only two hundred and thirty k. How do you know? Sean Winter. So I cut a seven. There it is, Kerry Katz with the read. <laughs> As long as Winter stays in here and is short, Haxton is able to put incredible pressure on Kerry yeah. Katz. Guessing yes. Sean you know, Katz does have a good stack of 54 big blinds, but Maybe even a Haxton can really board. put the screws yeah, to him. That's why you use five time Because he's not going to want to misstep knowing Winter's got nine. <laughs> Seven's ace kicked back. <laughs> you told him? I told him. Oh, Kerry feels it. I feel like you have queens. I might have aces. You might. Carrie's got the king three. Careful. It's weird you threw out aces. Limps in. One in six chance I have aces. All in here from Winter, ace ten. Oh, wow. Cat's going to not do it himself. He definitely doesn't want to double up Sean Winter no. either. I mean, he doesn't want to do a misstep against Haxton. He does not want to double up Sean oh, Winter. So. Sean Winter probably double tilted. The fact that the tournament is slipping away, but also the cup. Seen some questions in the chat. So th there are two scenarios at play here. There is the overall Poker Girl Cup Series leaderboard title, and then there is this tournament victory as well. When we refer to the Poker Girl Cup, we're referring to that overall I'm series leaderboard. Like I do my dirty work. I, I I don't even think he's really doing any work. I'm kind of doing it <laughs> for him. <laughs> Mike, if you had quads, you have to show that. That's good for the camera. It's going to be hard for him to have quads there. there. All right. It's hard for him to have quads there. He's got too many chips to be good in quads. Winter limbs from the small blind with 10-6 off. Packs them with a real strong hand, A7 suited. Axton continues to punish. Winter really needing some help quickly. 10-6 yeah. is not it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of seems like you have seven deuce. <laughs> he was going to curse at you, uh, who, if uh, you were the one coughing. Are you? Uh, um, I wanted to see a flop. <laughs> mm. 
You didn't seriously fold the seven, did you? <laughs> that bad? You're pretty sick. <laughs> you jack seven? He didn't fold a seven. <laughs> Carry cats keeping. Should have jammed the river. Sean Winter honest. That would have made it easier. Oh, Anthony, what am I doing? What are you doing? I don't know. One, I can't figure it out. in the chat we do appreciate yeah, he's it just chilling man he's super chilling 600k up top so for the winner here it. are you it's sure is it official you get the cup with second is it because i did the math yesterday you might want it could you would hate to not be for sure i think tim's like double checked it like 10 times so. it's all riding on tim's math Paxton here with Ace eight offsuit on the button. <coughs> Continues to raise. Raising on very big here. Winter doesn't find anything to, to push with. And his stack keeps dwindling. Now just seven big blinds. We're gonna be approaching an all in here real soon. Let us know in the chat. Do you wanna see Sean Winter make a comeback or are you hoping that we get down to heads up play real soon. I'm gonna leave myself this like Sean went to raising from the small blind. Jack 10 offsuit, all but 5k of his chips. Just didn't want you to table your hand, you know. I appreciate it. I feel like Sean Winter is just the bus, like so I can actually put up a fight. 40% of his <laughs> game is trolling. Yes, 100%. <laughs> 60% is like now. super high level yeah. poker, but the other 40% is just trolling yeah, at all times. Hand. He's a mega <laughs> troll. <laughs> to stand up the band. <sighs> what am I doing? Those are the spots there where Haxon's just going to be able to abuse Sean, Carrie Katz. straight jacket. Exactly. Kerry knows, too. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, what's he going to do? Free. There's I'm nothing not free, he can do. Buddy. You're free right now. Get a hand, you go. I don't feel free. You're free. <laughs> Calhorse says Winter will go in with any picture card. I mean, Free that's rolling. the territory we're approaching right here. Oh. This could be your chance to make it more of a competitive. Like you said, he's free. Robrook says if Sean gets dealt two cards, he should go for it. That's also the territory we're approaching right now. Sean Winter is going to need at least at least a couple double ups to get back into this match. Kerry Katz here with Queen Seven of Hearts. All he worries about right now is making sure he gets the heads up play versus Isaac Haxton. He doesn't want to double up Sean Winter. <laughs> There it is, all in from the small line. King seven offsuit. Like 
Let's see what Isaac Haxton Whoa, looks flash. at. 240. Uh, before the flop comes, I am going to burn three. <laughs> Ace nine offsuit for Haxton should be a pretty quick decision here. It's just, it's just a caller, right? What a sweat. You're going to leave him with the five, right? I check. <laughs> oh, boy. Sean Winter basically all in, has one 5K chip left. Doesn't want to look. Did the turn come? Actually yep. goes check, check. check. <laughs> oh, boy. Isaac Haxton check. with the worst of it. Is there a river yet? Yep. River card. Oh, there it is. Well, the jack of spades. Like Isaac Haxton makes it straight. Check. Check. Oh, You're that's in trouble. Uh oh, that's good. Oh my God, what a turn for me! Great. Why what doesn't Isaac Haxton bet there, Donnie? It's 5K. True, but it's another hand that he can put pressure on Kerry Katz if he wants to. Wow, that hand gets checked down. Chip in a chair, baby. Anthony, who? This will be the greatest comeback in the history of poker. This will be the greatest will comeback. Be. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is very confused. Why check? But yeah, Donnie made a good uh, point. This is one more hand in which Isaac Haxton can apply nuts. pressure to carry cats. It's true. Um, I mean, but then long, again, long way to go. Believe me, Sean. Sean's a miracle. You're Isaac Haxton. You're playing it for the win. I mean, right. The points don't matter to you. Uh oh. So and there it Call. goes. Queen Jack off. Calls all in. Winter calls all in. Haxton with 7 ah. 6 of hearts in the small blind. Kerry Katz has his big blind and his big blind ante out there, so a little more money to be won for Haxton. 85. Winter can actually win a ton of chips here compared to his stack due to the big blind ante. Yes. He can win the big blind ante. <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge, what is it, 10, 10 double up, whatever you want to call that? Cats with nine it off. Would love to check this down and see if he can send Winter to the rail. Haxton raising to tricky spot here because he's got to figure Haxton's going to put pressure on him post flop. Or maybe they just decide to have a little friendly game and check <laughs> it down. It's definitely possible. Sean Winter here at risk. Ten, deuce, seven on the flop, two clubs. Open and a straight draw for Kerry Katz. Pair of sevens for Haxton. Winter with two overcards to the board. He's not out yet. He still has got. He's still got chances. The problem is he can't hit a jack. <laughs> that would give Katz a straight. Sixty. Haxton with a pair of sevens continues for sixty. I mean. The whole tournament could end right here, <laughs> which is also a possibility. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, eight on the turn. Cats now with a pair of eights. Winter now picks up a gut shot straight draw to what survive. If Cats makes two pairs. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be Wouldn't crazy. that be cra a crazy turn of events? <clears throat> Haxton now no longer with the best hand. Anthony, who on the brink of seeing that $50,000 uh, $50, cash bonus and the cup slip through his fingers. If you're just tuning in, Sean Winter is all in for just 5,000 chips. If Winter gets eliminated here, Kerry Katz wins the cup, and Haxton and Katz will go heads up for the title in event number eight. There's $600,000 at stake in this event. Chat rooting for a nine on the river to keep Winter in the game. 160. Meanwhile, Haxton continues for 160. I can't see how Cats can fold here. A pair and a straight draw in such a crucial pot. Chat's rooting for a nine. <laughs> yeah, the chat wants to see more drama. Oh, they want they want blood, man. I think if you're cats, you have to call here and peel again. I mean, 
there is a chance as well, like like we see, that you have the best hand. I mean, Haxton's got the chip lead. He could just be putting pressure on you. Also, Haxton could be bluffing because the side pot is so. bigger than what Winter can win. Yeah. There's now 600k in the side pot, 40k in the main pot. So Sean Winter can win 40,000 chips if he wins the hand. He needs a 9. Jack on the river gives carry cats just the winning straight. It is a club, though, if Haxton wants to try and represent here. I mean, <laughs> Haxton could bomb it here. I mean, he yeah, could. It would, it would be a bit yeah. ambitious, but he could do it. Imagine, though, Donnie, if Haxton bluffs Cats off his hand, <laughs> then Winter doubles up. This would be a hand for the ages if Isaac Haxton pulls the trigger. I feel like he wants to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's like he's trying to find a way, talk himself into it. Can he do it? Can he pull the trigger here? There's 600k in the side pot. Kerry Cass has 875 left in his stack. I think he's going to do it. What a tense 135. Moment. Oh, he goes small. 135. That's not going to get it done. Call that is on. not. Cats quick, calls. Quick call shows the cat. straight. Sean Winter eliminated in third place. Kerry Katz Three wins the 2023 Pogo Go Cup. <laughs> Big the enough. 50k cash bonus uh -oh. and uh -oh. the trophy. Oh. Nice All right, congrats, Kerry. Thanks, man. But play, of course, will great. continue. I was stupid Sean. to be in that one. <laughs> I was I, you almost let I me actually, in. I was that was a weird job, fucking hand. Maybe I should have just ripped it free. I wanted to play all those. Yeah, you cheated you me. Put, post flop. You put it on the turn, I fold. But if you rip the river, obviously. You I'm cheated me. It. Yeah. Kerry. Said he's calling. Wow! Wow! You would have beat you. That is great. Just made the call. I got very lucky. <laughs> Carry cats. Enjoy the call. Take this down. <laughs> this is your first. This is your first series. Yeah, right? yeah, right? yeah. Can't time. wait to come back for the next yeah, one. Good. Thanks again, Anthony. Who? All right. Game yeah, trump. Very classy. Carry cats well, wins. Thanks, you did all the work. You did all the work. I did. Appreciate it. And then I dumped a bunch of chips. Carry <laughs> <laughs> cats wins the cup. Haxton and cats go heads up for the title in event number eight. Here are the chip counts presented by Hair Club. 3.5 million for Haxton still with the commanding chip lead. Carry cats 1.6 million has some work to do to get back into this match. But more importantly to him, of course, he already has the cup locked up which of course is massive for Kerry Katz. Five caches at the 2023 Pokego Cup. Very well-deserved winner of this overall series. And we're looking forward here to seeing Katz being handed the cup by our president, Maury Escandani. We're gonna keep playing, of course. There's a lot of money on the line. 50K cash bonus heading Kerry Katz's way. It's been a great series of events. Thanks everyone for tuning in by the way. We're going to keep rolling. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, you had an amazing series. I don't know if many people noticed, but you played almost a hundred hours in the last nine days and you played your heart out. On behalf of PokerGo and PokerGo Tour, I'd like to present you the PokerGo Cup 2023 Championship. So. Yes. <laughs> Pretty pumped. Thank you, Maury. Congratulations. Thanks. Very excited. Well, well done. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> Huge congrats to Kerry Katz for winning the cup. I hope it keeps it on the table because we got quite a match still to come here. No, it's not staying on the table. <laughs> Gary Katz making room. He should have to play with it next Winter. to him. Yeah, we'll be back in a second. Heads up, about to get underway. Sean Winter all in and at risk. Pretty far behind with the King Queen suited up against Dan Colpoy's Ace Queen. Oh. 
Got a million in this pot. Winter could All get those points up, up top, to you gotta gamble, you know, you gotta play for the win. A lot of overlay. Right? It's a lot of overlay. Oh, Winter. Who interested observer? Uh, maybe a chop somehow? Four, 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 seven? Wait, <laughs> four, four. That doesn't seven. get into it. <laughs> Oh Ten nine eight all hearts. Wow. Unreal. Maybe a chop. Six some seven stone hearts. Dead. Top? Okay. How much is this shit? Sorry, I got you back though. Great man. <laughs> Sean right. Winter, Great. ladies and gentlemen, Idiot. making a real run at back to back sorry, to sorry, back series championships. Deal, bro. And what's wrong with ten and a quarter? Yeah. It's a big game. That sounds huge. <laughs> I'd be terrified to play ten and a quarter. Yeah. You? I don't even have a ten or a quarter. <laughs> Cats will defend here. 10 7 3 with one spade. Gutter for El Jefe, backdoor flush drop for the wizard. A lot of nice turn cards. For Haxton, does he decide? Yeah, there we go. Three quarters pot. He's going to try and build a pot right now, attacking Hefe. If we get a decent turn, we can barrel once more. You were grinning, Joe. Two, two thirds, three quarters. Kind what of did I say? Three quarters? Yeah. Two thirds. But it's, it's close. Yeah. Yeah, Just happy you were close. Oh, the race was coming. Welcome back to the PokeGo studio. The sun has set in Las Vegas, but the 50K No Limit Hold'em final table is still going on. Kerry Katz versus Isaac Hexton. A great heads up battle lays in front of us. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokeGo.com. My name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me to provide you commentary on the final heads up battle of the 2023 Poker Go Cup. Isaac Hexton is our chip leader with 3.6 million versus the 1.7 million of Kerry Katz. A very happy Kerry Katz who just locked up the overall standings of the PokerGo Cup and the 50K cash bonus. If you're still with us, very much appreciate it. $364,000 guaranteed for these two players. 598 up top for the eventual champion. We just lost Sean Winter, and earlier today, we lost Dan Colpoise in fourth place. We're back, ready for some more action. Let's get those cards in the air. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Check. Donnie, do you think we're gonna see any change in Katz's approach now that he has the cup locked up? Or do you think he is just you know, very comfortable with his usual playing style and he's not gonna try to mess with it too much. I think we're going to see the, the aggression pick up a little bit. He'll play some more pots now. He's already got the cup up. It locked up. As you mentioned, the 50K bonus is locked up. Now we're going to see some heads of poker. And he, he's got to be feeling good because he did win that last hand. You know, was able to close the gap with like Haxton. Katz here picks up a pot in the early goings of the heads-up battle. Do you guys in the chat think that Katz has a chance to make a little comeback here, or Could you be is Haxton going to run, run away with it? I need you to try Dr. Pepper. So oh, yeah. Ends. Yeah, definitely. Um, what should I, I'll start with the regular one, because I feel like that's the original. Yeah. The original 23 Dr. Pepper. 23 flavors, bro. For, for everyone in the, ch in the chat who is unaware of what's going on here, I told Donnie yesterday on the stream that I've never tried Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew. So today he brought me five flavors of Dr. Pepper 
and three flavors of Mountain Dew. I've tried the regular Mountain Dew. was not as sweet as I expected, but still I'm appalled by the fact that it has 77 grams of sugar in one little bottle. 66 grams of sugar in this Dr. Pepper that I'm going to try right now. He's only having a sip, guys, so he's probably going to have like two grams of sugar. Yeah, and... I was going to take these home and do like a sort of prolonged type testing, but Donnie wants me to do this right now on air, so here we go. Check. It feels like this is trying to, it's tr trying to be Coke. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be Coke, okay. It's alright. I think I like Dr. Pepper or uh, Mountain Dew better so far. What do you guys like, chat? Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper? You can only pick from those two. That's it. Carrot Cat's here hitting an ace on the turn. Bet 100K into 75K. Ike just sitting on King High. People wondering if you bought me Baja Blast. I guess that's for the next episode. They didn't have... They only had what I brought you. Haxton makes the call with King High here. Good spot here for Cats to win some more chips. Check. If Haxton decides to stay a non-believer, of course, he had some outs as well there with the Diamonds. Cats quickly fires out 275. Haxton very deliberate with his actions, always making sure he's on top of it. <coughs> Cats wins this one and chips up nicely. All right, what am I trying next, Donnie? Let's just keep the train rolling. Should I, stay, should I go back to Mountain Dew? Should do the di diet one because diet? I think that's what Brent Hank said. Oh yeah, is the best one. Diet Dr Pepper. Here we go. I hope you guys heard that little. <laughs> I heard it. This is going to sound crazy, but this is sweeter than the regular Dr. Pepper, taste-wise. If I burp on this stream, it is your fault, Donnie. Check. Sure. That's fine. I think a diet of Dr. Pepper is definitely better than a regular <coughs> Dr. Pepper. doesn't taste as sweet. Or, sorry, tastes sweeter, which I like. It's a little confusing drink. It's it's <laughs> it feels it feels like it, I mean seriously it makes me think of cherry coke. But there's also I got you a cherry Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper. Pepper cherry, which is kind of crazy. I want you to try this one next. Okay, because that's the one a couple of people in the chat said would, would be the best. I've never had a cream soda. I've never had a root beer either, actually. What? You should have told me that. What about your root beer too? We could probably try out stuff <laughs> on every single stream. You give me the whole rundown of American culture. <laughs> we got a whole WSOP coming up. Oh, we'll my God, yes. <laughs> sure, we'll I have plenty of stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you some Dutch <laughs> snacks and treats for you to try. I'm in. Are you into licorice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, then, then then I got you. The Netherlands makes the best licorice. Uh, oh, meanwhile, really? yeah, that's a poker action going on here. Haxton with a pair of kings. Cats hits a jack on the river. Let's see if Haxton is going to raise it up here. 25k bet from Haxton on the flop. Turn goes check, check. <laughs> Just the call here. Chat's asking where you're from. I'm from the Netherlands. And he told, Remco was talking to myself, Brent Hanks, Jeff Platt on break, yeah. and said that they really only have Coke in the Netherlands. That's all people care about. <laughs> like, I, I've had 7-Up and Sprite and I know, probably some of the other ones that I can't think of right now. We used to have a, um, um, that was very popular, was a, a, a grape-flavored soda. That's the right time to not get rid of purple bottle. It was also with, ca with the carbonation. I was a big fan of. Fanta. Yeah, I love Fanta. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Super sweet also. They have some, they have some uh, Mexican imported sodas at some of the 
coffee shops that I've been to o all over town. Those I'm a fan of too. They like a little bit of a citrusy lemon flavor. I can't think of the name right now, but yeah, that's his Leon Bartels from the Netherlands. Cassis, that's what it's called. That's the the grape flavored one. I really like that one. I remember it being very very carbonated. Uh, Gary Katz here, Jack eight offsuit raises on the button. <coughs> Katz celebrating with a diet coke. Why not? He's not a duck to pepper guy. Thomas Hensall says, Europe has terrible food. Been there, tried that. <laughs> Thomas, you're an idiot. The food in Europe is amazing. You just didn't go to the right places. I'm sure everywhere in the world has terrible food. Yeah. If you go to the terrible spots. Exactly. You, know? I mean, you can also find really good food in a lot of, a lot of places. So. Thomas, Europe is a big place. <laughs> Thomas, did you go to the McDonald's in Europe? I, <laughs> I, I want to know. I got to know. <laughs> I went to the Hard Rock Cafe in yeah. London. It was so bad. I went to Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I never want to go to Australia. The food sucks. We're just messing, Thomas. Yeah, we're messing with everyone. <coughs> Haxton here, raising up the 65K with sevens. Cats calls with 4-3 offsuit. Of course, you know, there's nowhere to hide during heads-up play. Producer Aiden said he went to Johnny Rockets in Dublin. Wow. I mean, why not? Producer Aiden also says Jarritos, which is the <coughs> soft drink from Mexico that I really like. Jarritos, according to Producer Aiden. There are not many people who can correct me on my pronunciation of just about anything. But producer Aiden definitely <laughs> at the top, top of that list. <laughs> Takes a lot of pride in his pronunciations. Also, never play GeoGuessr against producer Aiden. He'll take all your money. He's a bad hustler. He tried to crush me. Suter name said, and I know you'll agree with this, the U.S. doesn't even have real cheese or real fresh bread. Okay, so here, this, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this. People in the U.S. are accustomed to eating bad bread and bad cheese, and therefore all the grocery stores sell all the crappy stuff. But the last few years since I've lived in Las Vegas, more and more places are popping up that sell the good stuff. There's a place in Las Vegas a to bluff me. Like. called 5908 Bread, I think. I think Amazing I bread. 500. Cats bits. Damn it. <laughs> With the 4-3. <laughs> I think you got this one. Yep. So Sharp call here by Haxton with sevens. Oh, yeah. Cats with the nut low. That's too small. <coughs> I think I might have got it done. This is last in the level? Yeah. That means the blinds are going up. Haxton has extended his chip lead up to 3.7 million now. Tristram says, I'm happy as long as I have beer. There you go. Okay. All I'm right, about to try the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Cream and s cream, s cream Soda. <laughs> I, I have no idea what to expect of it. I wish you guys could see when he picks up the bottles. And look, it's great. <laughs> oh, it's great. <coughs> All right. Oh, this smells good. Interesting. Okay. I, I dig that. That's that's good. <laughs> it's a little bit of a like a caramel flavored. Yeah, this is maybe my favorite so far. <laughs> this is good. Not much happening in this hand. Cats got the jack high. Axon with the ten high. Only 125 in the middle. Cats is jack high is best. It's turning into a graveyard of half drank bottles of soda here on the ground. That's fine. 
I love that everyone is still hanging out Jack with high. us here. Good. On this stream. Jack High is good. Terry Cats could win a silver cup and a gold cup. Oh, yeah. In the same day. That's same a, hour. That's like, a good winner photo, you know, <laughs> holding up both at the same time. John Barrio says Mexican food is the world's best food. What's your favorite food? Let us know. Last day is today for the Poker Girl Shop kickoff sale. 30% off select PGT items. Shop.pokergo.com. I would recommend getting the zip up with the zip pockets. If you're a poker player, you can never have too many zippers on your clothing. Oh, no, no, you can't. You need one for your money, one for maybe your player's cards, one for a snack cell phone, snacks. Maybe you got a portable phone charger. Of yep. course, you need something for your phone as well. I mean, you know, <coughs> pockets galore. Exactly. Nice premium holding here. Heads up for Haxton. Ace Jack of Hearts. Cats dominated. Makes the call. <coughs> Interesting flop here for Cats' hand when the 3-5-3 three, three rolls off. Got shot to the wheel. Haxton still with the best hand. No back door draws possible for Haxton. As far as hearts are concerned, of course, he could make a running straight. I love everyone defending their favorite foods. <laughs> All the foods that were just mentioned in the chat, I would like to have an order of each one of them. I'm so happy that you guys are enjo <laughs> enjoying this variety stream. Lots more going on than just the poker action. We always talk a lot of nonsense. If you're new to the chat, on the channel. Please subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button. Can we hit 1,500 likes before the show ends? I feel like a lot of new people showed up, haven't liked the video. Just smash that like button. Show some appreciation. We're going to carry this thing home, get down to a winner tonight on the Pokemon Cup. And then, of course, a little reminder for everyone out there. In four days, High Stakes Poker premiering on PokerGo.com. We have promo codes available. Watch HSP10 to save $20 on your annual subscription. But We'll also have highlights on our YouTube channel. So if you want to watch new High Stakes Poker content, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll give you a little tease, a little sprinkle tinkle when the first episode comes out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed here. Ace on the river, by the way, Donnie. 180. Call. Call. Wow. Quick call. Painful. Nice. Better ace there for Haxton. <coughs> Extending his lead. Now up to almost 4 million. With uh, coal poison winter eliminated, the table talk has definitely been reduced <laughs> to zero. Spawny says, has the high stakes poker season already been filmed? Yes. It was filmed here inside the Pokemon studio. Lots of work goes into producing and voicing those episodes. We have some tournament series coming up as well, Donnie. Give the people the lowdown on when when the next round of PGT points will be awarded. We have the first ever PGT like mixed games up coming up February 4th through 11th. We also have the first ever PGT PLO series. That's coming up in March, March 11th through 18th. And then a little, a little later on this spring, kind of towards the end of March, uh, March 23rd through April 3rd, USPO, the U.S. Poker Open. That one's ten events. That one's that one might be my favorite of the of the, the majors. U.S. Poker Open is your favorite? Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like the branding, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of poker action here on Poker Go, of course. Stay tuned to pgt.com slash schedule. As new events get added, we'll be populating that page, plugging things in. There are some satellites listed on that page, both for the Mixed Game Series and the PLO Series. So if you don't have, you know, 10K or higher, like, like I don't, like Remco doesn't, 
Beautiful. You know, maybe we'll play some satellites. Take a shot, get in there. Satellites are run by Arya here at the studio. Great way to uh, take a shot. Rock Thompson asking a question about Holland and the Netherlands. Holland is a name that people like to assign to the Netherlands. The country is called the Netherlands. There's two provinces in the Netherlands called North Holland and South Holland. Holland in and of itself is, n is nothing, means nothing. I think this all started with like the World Cup in, this, in 1970. Don't ask me, man. I'm just a dumb American. <laughs> Dead Money says, what's the code for 30% off in the PokerGo shop? Uh, no code. Um, just head on over to shop.pokergo.com and select PGT items will be marked down in the store for, for the 30% off. There you go. See Rick asking about the payouts. First place, 598 $598,000. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Second place, $364,000. <coughs> Thomas said, Katz has his favorite hand. I think that's also Brent Hanks' favorite hand. <laughs> Deuces. Quack, quack. Deuces never loses. PokerGo is not an online poker site. We're an online streaming service. With the best commentators ever. That's right, baby. On YouTube. <coughs> the buy for this turn was fifty thousand dollars. Cats here with Ace Three. Down to only a million, Donnie. Thirty-five big blinds. Yeah, he's just. I mean, he's he's certainly played more pots, but just getting chipped away. It's an uphill battle. Here he limps in from the button. <coughs> Pull in. Wow. Maxon shove with 8 6 offsuit, Donnie. That's a big little shove. A little aggressive. I feel a little jittery after trying all these sodas. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Jeez. Not even that much sugar because, of course, half the ones that Donnie got me were zero sugar. I feel like I should just keep going at this point. Um, should Jay I said, is Cash the trash talker guy? No, I don't think so. Nope. Might be Eric Person. <laughs> yeah. could, could be Phil Helmy for, for all we know. I think Eric Person. <laughs> I think uh, Katz should have called it off there with Ace-3. 35 bigs? No. I mean, no. I what should I try next? Cherry. All right, let's do it. Cherry Dr. Pepper. Christopher asks, does every tournament have a cup winner? So all of our major series, we have... All in. All in. Has he goes all in again here. <coughs> Ike really ramping up the aggression. All of our major series, we have three majors a year. We have the Poker Girl Cup that you're seeing now. We have the USPO coming up at the end of March into April. And then in the second half of the year, we will have the Poker Masters. All of those have series leaderboards. And all of those have a 50K championship bonus on top for that series leaderboard winner. And then those two new series that I just mentioned, the PGT Mixed Games and PGT PLO series, uh, those have 25K leaderboard prizes. How's the cherry? Eh, not a fan. <laughs> the cream soda is definitely... Cream soda is the best? Yeah, best one so far. I'm not a big... I don't understand why cherry was the one fruit that all the soda brands picked to turn into... Yeah, they all have them, right? It's all cherry. Yeah. Uh, last I checked... Cherry is not the most popular fruit at the store. <laughs> <laughs> like oranges and pineapple are way more popular. Would you like a pineapple Dr. Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> pineapple Coke? Did you ever have a clear Pepsi? Pepsi no. clear? No. It was back in the day. I'm sure. Wow. Look at these. Isaac Axton, the last 10 hints. Winning them all. To call him dominating 
is an understatement. Isaac Haxton running away with this so far, up to 4.4 million. I got three more sodas to try. I mean, for as short as Carrie's getting, uh, you know, I know it obviously doesn't feel good to have 800k to Axton's 4.3 million, but he still has 27 big blinds. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, th the pressure is increasing on him, but it's not like he's sitting there with like eight big blinds. He just needs to shove like the next base card that he sees. Crystal Pepsi, that's what it's called, not clear. Oh, Crystal, Crystal Pepsi. Right. I can't even get it right. I did. I did Producer Aiden didn't correct me. I did try some of those new... <laughs> those new. Um, Wait, you haven't had Crystal Pepsi? No, but those, I tried those new Coke flavors. They had like a dream flavor or something? Have you ever had a Zima? What? <laughs> What's a Zima? I don't even think they make that anymore. Donald asked, did we get Mountain Dew High Voltage? No, they only had like regular Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew. And I think Zero Sugar. So that's all I was able to grab. They didn't have Baja Blast. They didn't have, you know, High Voltage, Code Red, all the crazy stuff. Mountain Dew looks like oh, gasoline. Leon in the chat says, did you try Vanilla Coke? Vanilla Coke Zero Sugar is my favorite soda ever. Okay. But it's very hard to find. How do you say his name? Leon? Leon. I would have said Little John. Little John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Zima was like White Claw in the 90s. Yeah, that's a good way to put it for <laughs> sure. For sure. All right, let me try this Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. I don't even think they make Zima. They're pretty sure they don't make Zima anymore. King 8-7, two diamonds on the flop here. <coughs> Pair of eights for cats. Comes out firing. Pair of sevens for Haxton. Might see at least a turn here. Wow. The Zima still exists? <laughs> I don't think so. We should try and get some, though. Looks like Smirnoff Ice. Yeah, like Zima, Smirnoff Ice, like that kind of all came out together. Yes, I'm 21. Like what? I mean, oh, it looks like I can buy some on his website. Oh, Drizzly. I've ordered from them before. Haxton made the call for 100k. <coughs> Turn goes check, check. River, queen of spades. Haxton, or sorry, cats with the check mark. Let's see if Haxton is going to try to steal this one. Rick Jeffrey says he's literally drinking a vanilla Coke, no sugar, right now. There we go. You guys are best friends. They're hard to find. Check, check. Cats shows down the winner. It's good, sir. Derek saying, I wonder why you do zero sugar. Well, I'll give you one guess why. Because <laughs> it's got zero sugar? <laughs> I get enough sugar as is. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have blocked me off of it. Like, the full sugar sodas are, like, literally the worst thing ever. Just a flesh wound, Ike. <laughs> I saw I saw somewhere that two bottles of co or yeah, two bottles of Coke, so a liter of Coke, has the same amount of sugar as an entire large pizza. <laughs> wow. It's cheese pizza. The amount of carbs, like car uh, carb sugar being the same thing. But yeah, there's no. If you if you're at home, I'm not drinking full sugar that. sodas. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a health, health advocate here, but maybe reconsider. <laughs> Speaking as someone who used to be 285 pounds and I'm now 185 pounds, it, it is working for me. Donald says, the replacement for sugar is worse. That is not true. And also, if aspartame kills me, then so be it. <laughs> I'm not giving up my diet sodas. Ace, queen, queen on the flop here. Both players with an ace. Haxton with a far better ace. Some chop outs here, of course, for cats. King, queen, or a jack would be helpful. Four is not going to do it. Also a club. 
Cat's drawing dead to win this. Also a hand where even if it is a chop on the river, you know, it could be tough for Carrie to get to showdown given Ike's aggressiveness. Two thirds fought. Katz makes the call. I wouldn't want to call it the danger zone, but he's definitely in trouble here. Oh wow, six of clubs on the river might save him a few dollars. I think it's going to be hard to save him a few dollars here. This is, I mean, depending on the sizing of what uh, what Haxton goes for. Knowing that we've seen Haxton have some big overbets earlier yeah. at this final table, could could see him go for it all here. All in. There wow. It is. He moves all in with the nut flush. And at this point, Carey really just has <laughs> total bluff catcher and very wow. hard for him to be able to call this. I mean, of course, we know if he calls, it's over. If Katz calls here, it is indeed over. Uh, Very tough spot. I can beat is like a king jack. So, good bet. Exactly like Donnie said, We're total bluff catcher. Bluff. We've seen some crazy bluffs, so <laughs> I mean, it could happen, but good recognition there from Carey. If you're still with us. Let, us, let me know where you're watching from. Kind of curious who we got here at this hour. It's 6.30 p.m. on the West Coast. <coughs> Enjoying this heads-up battle between Katz and Haxton. I'm already excited for our next series of events. U.S. Poker Open is our next big series, streaming in March, March 24th, the first final table. And... Between now and then, we have seven episodes of High Stakes Poker, premiering, of course, all on PokerGo. March 3rd, Global Poker Awards, the fourth annual, streaming live and for free on PokerGo. Check. I think I'm already, we're getting closer to the WSOP season. I know it's only January, but still, I feel like we're getting closer. I feel like the schedule is going to drop any time. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, they dropped the dates and schedule for some key events, including the main event. Um, and if you missed that, May 30th through July 18th. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it feels like any, you know, any day now. Want to get that first little news out there before the new year and then hit them with the big one in the new year so maybe, maybe maybe next week who the heck knows man <laughs> that'd be great it'd be great to have that out there so everybody can start planning their trips if you are coming out please come see us at the WSOP I, lo I love like combing through it every single year seeing the highlights how many events are you going to play this year Donnie good question I'll, I'll, I'll say 10 um, I don't know I mean, it depends. Who knows? I might be broke by then. You play the main event? I would like to play it again. Yeah, I think I will. You had horrible table draws last year. Yeah, but I, I survived as best I could, and then, you know, Thanks. things didn't go my way. I think I'll try and play that one again for sure. It's I mean, cool. it really just depends on the schedule. I, I do really love, like, working, and now that we're doing the commentary thing, like, I, I love it, you know, and, like, obviously whenever you're playing, you have to take away from that. So you got to really plan accordingly. Um, I think I might take a shot, though, early on. They announced that million-dollar bounty. It's going to – their mystery bounty event, they moved it up this year. It's going to basically kick off the series. I mean, that thing looks like it's going to be wild. <laughs> yes. little update from the chat here. we got tons of people watching from all over the world, Texas, Australia. we got pa Pakistan in the house, 7.30 a.m. 
Romania, Sunderland, England, Colorado, Toronto, Netherlands, Centennial Hills, Edmonton, Tampa, Portugal, Poland, East Lansing, Richmond, Illinois, Montreal, Victoria, Australia at 1.30 p.m. It's already, it's already weekend in Australia. That's crazy. 125. Katz picks one up. Important for him to start winning some hands. So far at this final table, Isaac Haxton's won 46 hands. Kerry Katz has won 10. It's crazy how much more aggressive Isaac Haxton is. <coughs> Tyler says, watching from the bathroom at work in Detroit. Better not get caught. <laughs> Hope no one needs you at work. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of Aussies. Alice Springs, Australia. Isn't it like in the middle of nowhere? Northwest Vegas. That's where Brent lives. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Brent l like almost lives in Utah. Jeez. Actually, Utah is more towards the northeast, but still. Zimbabwe in the house. Ndara Alexio, thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. Helsinki, Finland, Finland, middle of the night. Spain, Ottawa, Minnesota. Cyprus, 4.30 in the morning. Are you already awake or still awake? That's the <laughs> question. Aaron says, wife set put the kids to sleep before I tune in and luckily I was able to catch the heads up action. There you go, Aaron. That's great. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Love seeing people from Africa in the house. I was fortunate enough to cover some events in South Africa, in Johannesburg. I never made it there, man. It's always the place I wanted to go to and just never was able to go. Yeah, combine it with the trip to Cape Town. Would love to see more of the continent if I ever get a chance in the future. One thirty-five. Haxton hits the river and raises it up. Cats with just queen Owen. high. Owen? Oh wow! Cats moves all in over the top. Wow, what is going on here? <coughs> wow. Just like all of a sudden, bang. Like <laughs> Out of nowhere. Yeah, really. We're just chilling, laying back, talking about random stuff. <laughs> and Carrie Katz just rips it all in. Isaac Haxton hits an ace on the river. All he has to say is call, and this tournament is over. But we all know it is not as easy as just saying call. Recap in the action here. We're playing a limp pot. Haxton bets 30k on the flop. Katz calls. Check, check on the turn. Katz leads the river for 30k. Haxton makes it 135. And now Katz all in for 800,000. Isaac Haxton one word away from winning this tournament. But can he figure it out? Katz has been playing very conservatively. Spade comes in on the river. Haxton has no spades. Giving Katz a greater likelihood of having spades. Donnie, what are you thinking here? I mean, but that also goes the way for Katz. I mean, he doesn't have spades. You know, Isaac Haxton could easily have spades. Shows it. Oh. Wow. Shows it down. Gary Katz, baby. I mean, Katz clearly representing a full house there. Yep. In a limp pot, I mean, shows could it really have anything, so... I mean, this must be a little bit of a confidence builder, Ryan. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Isaac Haxton with the head shake. He, kn he knows that he was one small word away from walking away with 600K. Good pick up there for Cats. Back over 1 million. 36 big blinds. As you said, nice confidence boost for the man. Haxton, though, you know, plenty of chips. 4.1 million. 
couple of decent hands here. Cats made it 65 on the button. Haxton called. Quick, quickly check through to the turn. Roberg says that's why Cats got 35 million in earnings, or winnings, I should say. Two big hands here, Donnie. I kind of would have wanted to see Good. some more pre-flop raising. Good. Ace high takes it. Cats chip enough. I think his low point was 875. Now back up to 1.2 million. My low point is happening right now. Drinking eight different sodas all at the same time. Cats here, the last five hands, chipping up very nicely. By the way, we are now 100 hands into today's final table. Who's been with us here since the start? There's 3,000 of you watching. Who's been with us here since hand number one? Cool. By the way, if you enjoy the content, please smash that like button. Okay. Subscribe to the channel. Axon flops a pair of tens, comes out betting. Cats with a pair of eights, sticking around. There it is. Alexander says, I was there from the beginning. Matt says, not me. I had other things to do. Well, no nothing can be as important as hanging out with us. There it is. David Hill. Has been here from the start. Mark Bateman. Joshua Shot. <coughs> Darla, of course, always here. Christian. Andy Coe. Beautiful. I appreciate all of you. Spani asked if there will be more announcements about the Dream Seats. Yes, th there will be in the coming weeks. Stay tuned to. Poker Go on social media, wherever you can find us, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. And then also PGT.com. And then any of these streams that we do, you know, we'll be talking about the stuff that we announce. Cats gets called. Haxton shows the 10. 8 no good. And all of a sudden, Cats back to down below. Uh -huh. Down to below a million. Aiden says, do you want pizza? Do I want pizza? Um, no. I have to turn it down. I'm wow. turning down pizza. I, I, is it legally allowed within our bet? Yeah. It's legally it's a allowed. Is it a meal? Yeah, you can have pizza for sure. I'll have a slice. I'm, I'm turning it down. I'm not doing it. You're smart. Smart man. Because, I mean, I'm not like a one-slice pizza guy. <laughs> like, I'm, you know. Eat a whole pizza if I eat a pizza. Oh, okay. True. Ace four versus five four. The five gets there. Matthew Lawrence asking, what's your favorite toppings? My favorite pizza is probably a white pizza with some caramelized onions and mushrooms.
Wow, there he is. The <laughs> yeah, pizza and Mountain Dew is the real American diet. Real 12 year old American. Yep. Looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. What time's your flight tomorrow, Ike? Ten. <laughs> Flying to Miami? I'm uh, with Jason. On oh, okay. That's good. Later. Sounds like that's with Jason on a, on a PJ. That's what it sounded like to me. <coughs> Does the event start tomorrow or the next? Next yeah, day. It is tomorrow, right? On. On. No, it starts the next day. Oh, it does. Okay, good. The 100K is the next day. They are talking about the PCA in the Bahamas coming back this year. PCA slash PSPC. limps the button once again. It's hard to see your all-in face behind the mask. <laughs> Can't get the, uh, the read Paxton on that Paxton checks his option. 987. Could be a little, or sorry, 887. Don't know why I said 987. Check race here from Haxon. After carry bet 50,000 with his trip eights. Haxon open ended. Cool. Carry calls. Jack on the turn. Continues with his aggression. All of it. Saxon gives it up. Good pot for Carrie Cats. Back up to one. I think it'd be a little Hollywood. Point four million. Of course, a little Hollywood never hurt anyone. I 
guess you were just kidding. He was kind of just kidding, Kerry. Got a pretty what? good hint. Yeah, he was open ended. I mean, he could have got there. Oh, big one. Axton now back below 4 million in chips. Still a healthy chip lead though. Comes in with a raise here, 75k. That was a great slice of pepperoni pizza. Oh yeah? Very, very good. The pepperonis looked legit. Yeah. I'm usually not a big pepperoni guy, but that was very good. Haxton bets 55k. Cats just with a deuce makes the call. Nice turn card for Haxton who picks up a flush draw. Blatt, I did not eat any pepperoni. I just said it looked good. Okay. I didn't have any pizza. I didn't have any pepperoni. I don't recognize myself anymore. Shitty flush for uh, Mr. Ha Mr. Haxton there. Cat's bidding 175, turning his hand into a bluff. Haxton trying to assess how much money he can make here. Cool. Just makes makes the call. Katz shows it. Haxton tables the nine, extends his lead. Donnie, every single time Katz dwindles down to just below a million, he gets on a little bit of a rush, gets back up there, and then Haxton just knocks him down again. Yeah, it's more of like all the all the small pots, all the grinding goes Haxton's way, and then kind of the, the bigger pots, the one-offs that happen every now and again, those go over Kerry Katz's way. Cats now back down to 1.1 million. Still 37 big blinds. Do you, th do you guys think Cats has it in him to make the comeback here? Going up against one of the greatest players of his generation. Of course. Two Anything is possible. The two very different styles going at it here. Cats, cats needs to catch a few cards, probably. But I still think it is possible. Straight now for Hacks and Cats with a very small flush draw. One hundred k bet here from Cats. Let's see if Haxton wants to get some more money in here. Cool. Surrender. <laughs> great. Cats surrenders. He's back below a million. Yep, back below a million. Wow, Donnie, what is this all about? Well, this is the Poker Go podcast. The number one poker podcast in the land that you should all be listening to. You can find it on Apple. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it on Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And today is the last day that you can send in reviews 
for our contest. Find the Poker Girl Podcast, leave a review, take a screenshot of that review, and email it in to podcast at pokergo.com. We're doing a drawing for four signed and framed poker felts, one from Phil Ivey, one from Phil Helmuth, one from Daniel Negreanu, and then one that is signed by both Eric Seidel and Johnny Chan. Wow. Make that happen because today is the last day. And just listen to the podcast because it's awesome. You guys are going to do a show tonight. We are going to do a show tonight. You know who's a regular listener to our, our podcast? Dan Negreanu. There it is. Matt Savage. Wow. You know, some heavy hitters in the industry. Exactly right. They listen to the show. So be like those guys. Cat's now below 900K. 17% of the chips. Haxton won, has won 51 hands so far at this final table. Cat's only 15. Roberg says, I would be so mad if I won and it was the Helmet signed one. Well, then, uh, why? Maybe try trading it with the one that you do want. Cat's here with Queen Jack off, raising to 65,000. Tens here in the big blind for Isaac Haxton. This feels like potential fireworks, two big hands. This feels like it could go in here. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Haxton makes it two hundred and twenty-five thousand to go. Cats just with the call. No all-in pre-flop shove just yet. Ace Queen Eight. <laughs> Neither player unhappy with this. Cats, of course, needing a 10. Haxton holding two of the 10s. Ten check. check, check. Pair of 10s still in the lead. Nine on a turn. Haxton with a commanding lead in this hand. Cats now can't hit a jack. Chat's rooting for a 10. <laughs> I love it when the chat roots for drama. Yeah, they, wa they want the pain, man. Check, check. Six on the river. Doesn't change a thing. 10 still hold. If Katz doesn't successfully stab here, he's going to be left with just 22 big blinds. By far the shortest he's been at this final table. Queen's good. Tens? Tens are good too. Need you to get a set. <laughs> Haxton extending his ship up to 4.5 million now. We're getting closer and closer to all in territory here. You always have the best hand. <laughs> it's making it very challenging. Yeah, it's, it's a tough strategy to beat, heads up. <laughs> Alright, spin this up. This will be two mil pretty soon. How much is it now? It's like 20 bigs. Haxton thinking about putting 21 this in. bigs. All in. All in? There it is. Wow, you, get, you must be tired. <laughs> you got tired, aren't you? I just want to end this thing. <laughs> All right. Now, 20 bigs now. Cat's announcing his status at the table, giving Isaac Haxton free <sighs> reign to attack. I only have 20 bigs. Come at me. I think Kerry Cat's. Where are you when you're not in Vegas? Like Vancouver? Vancouver, yeah. I guess you don't go there during the winter. It's not so bad. I grew up in Syracuse. Vancouver's nothing compared to that. Oh, really? <laughs> Just kind of 
dark and rainy, mostly below above okay. freezing. So it's like Seattle. Yeah, I mean it's just colder. It's maybe 70 miles from Seattle. It's barely even colder. You mainly just go up there when there's good online stuff going on. Yeah. Or, you know, it's a nice place to hang out, too. I like it there. You hang out with Nick up? Is Nick's, Nick goes up there, right? Which Nick? The Tranguil. Uh No, his place is in Canmore. Oh, okay. Petrangelo living in one of the outdoor winter sports meccas of Canada. Check. Is he a big outdoor sports guy? He's a huge outdoor sports guy. Petrangelo, massive snowboarder. Also a huge into mountain biking. I've asked him many times to come riding with me. <laughs> By the way, Las Vegas. One of the best places for mountain biking in the whole country. People sleep on Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. Cats here flopping the nuts. Haxton laying it down on the turn. And Cats finally picking up a few chips, but it's not enough. He's going to need to win a whole lot more to make this thing competitive. Haxton just looking for a good spot to get it in. Here, Queen Deuce suited. Still 20 bigs. Looks kind of nice. One hundred five. One hundred five is the raise. Katz is going to defend it again. Once again, a very strong hand for Haxton Donnie. No matter what you say about these players' playing styles, Haxton definitely been on the receiving end of some strong cards. Of course. Makes it extra hard for Gary Katz to do anything when a good player gets good cards. It's just, well, what are you going to do? Very tough. That said, things could, things could change. They could swing. Katz got out of line once with a big all-in bluff. He might need to pull off a few more of those tricks to get back into it. But it worked. Yeah, it, it did work, and I mean, you know, more credit to him for making it work, but you might need to pull off a few more of those if you want to come back here against Haxon, who's been receiving some good cards. Check. Check, check. River car, 10, 9 still in the, no, still the winning hand. Bet by Hacks and Cats with just a pair of deuces. Not sure I'd be too surprised to see Carrie call this. But we'll see if he can correctly figure it out. Does make the call. <coughs> Once pass. again, Haxton has it. Uh, took me to Value Town. 
Carry cats All down right. to just 11 big blinds. Gonna be hard. I got I got lower goals now. I'm running up to a million. More than a 10 to 1 chibi for Isaac like Haxton. Wow. What a display by Haxton, who keeps getting the cards and keeps getting the value. 335. 162 big blinds for Haxton. Donnie, this almost seems insurmountable. Oh, no, it's 305. Oh, no, Andy. Jack four suited here might even be good enough for Haxton to shove with. All in. All in, there it is. Makes the shove. Cats king seven off. Doesn't look too pleased, but also knows this might be a spot for him. He has to take. You can't have the best hand every time, right? That's right. It's not possible. Call it off. All right, I call. There you go. All right, Kerry Katz makes the call. King seven versus Jack four. All right. For all the marbles here in this event, the winner of this tournament gets 600K. Isaac Haxton now one clean run out away involving a jack, a four, a diamonds. He's been able to do it all. King of diamonds. That'll be a fun swipe card for him. I agree. Yeah, there you go. Flop comes. Ace, uh, jack, deuce. This is the end. Haxton grabs the, the lead. King of diamonds. And straights. Backdoor spades, yeah, backdoor Broadway, Broadway. Boom. Okay. Queen, queen on the turn. Now a so 10 or a king for kings? cats, or oh, this tournament yeah, is kings. over. I have to pair the board now. What? Pair the board now. No more fairness. This was too <laughs> easy for you. You, gotta, you need it, a little sweat. It's been far kings. too easy. Boom. You're right. Ugh. Ace right. on the river, <laughs> and it's all over. Isaac <laughs> Haxton. Yeah, well played. Thank you very much. Wins event number eight of the 2023 Poker Cup for $598,000. Sure. And at the same time, Carrie Katz, runner up for 364. And of course, also winner oh, of the no. Poker Go Cup. That's right. Overall standings. The 50K cash bonus and the massive silver trophy. There it is. Isaac Haxton receiving the gold trophy. Carrie Katz here on top at 460 points. Anthony Hu. 454, finishing runner-up after having been in the lead for such a long time. Here's a look at the final results. Presented by Hair Club, Haxton collects 598, Katz 364, Sean Winter 208, and Dan Colpois $130,000. Thanks, everyone, so much for watching. It's been an honor and a pleasure calling the action together with Donnie Peters here. My name is Rem Kurinkama. We had so much fun on these broadcasts. We'll be back real soon. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.